Hey, I'm Jackson Lansing. Welcome to Bath. This is our fifth episode of season two uh, here on uh, our crazy space adventure. It is the second part of our Terra arc, uh, which last uh, we left it was uh, in pretty dire uh, shape. Uh, Captain Bard has been taken by the Terran Republic, uh, who have nefarious designs towards uh, uh, using her in a misinformation campaign to help them uh, keep control over their people uh, in the absence of the larger uh, Takma. Uh, it's the rest of our, our team is left uh, to their own devices, and we're going to see exactly how they handle uh, this situation uh, coming up next. Uh, before we get started, I have a couple of things that I want to shout out. The first, as uh, per usual, we have merch. Uh, I gotta talk about it every week because I'm so freaking psyched about it. Because it's um, awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, we have two uh, yeah. logo t-shirts. We have the Brightest Style logo t-shirt, the Paka logo t-shirt. And we also have two variants on a uh, You Are Now in Combat With t-shirt, which Max and uh, Amanda in their uh, <laughs> ongoing feud have already made really good use of. Um, updates on that feud later today, as soon as you see uh, the cast. But uh, <laughs> um, So that's really exciting. Uh, another thing I want to plug is the Discord. If you are a Bastronaut and you want to check out uh, where all of the astronauts live. If you saw that video last week and were wondering, like, who are all these fans and why do they have rituals that I don't understand, <laughs> go to the Discord. Like, discover what's going on because our fandom is awesome and uh, dedicated and inclusive and amazing. Uh, and they are really putting together quite their own culture. So uh, I hope you will check it out uh, and join up with them and uh, get up to a lot of uh, craziness when I'm not looking. Uh, so <laughs> that's, uh, that's number two. Uh, He's check not out the looking. Um, number three, if you're new to Bass, because I know we have a lot of people who are now catching up on the stream because you found us on Twitch. Welcome. Thank you for finding our show. Um, thank you for being a part of it. You are amazing. Oh, you just got, you just got spoiled. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm very excited uh, that you're here with us. Something to uh, uh, keep in mind uh, as we move down the line, um, it's gone. I'm happy... I had a cool idea that I was going to talk to you guys about, but it's out of my head. I'm really excited that you're here. Thank you for being a part of the show. No, that's up next. I just had a... There was another part of this whole vast... Oh! That's gone. All right. Well, you see me get flummoxed on the air. This is fun. I have a lump like half a wolf. So lastly, hmm. we're going to talk about my favorite thing of the week, which is the Colin Kelly Photoshop. Yay. Yay. My favorite idea. I'm very disturbed by it, for the record. <laughs> this is a very exciting time for all of us. Um, we are, uh, here's how we're going to do this. I like photos. We're going to go to, is it the Alpha Twitch? Uh, Alpha Twitter. Alpha Twitter. Uh -oh. We're going to go on to Alpha's Twitter. Alpha Twitch, what am I talking about? I really am, like, out of my mind today. Uh, no, 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 it's cool. Uh, somebody else will just come run the episode, because I'm clearly not having it. I can uh, run. The, uh, I can do it. So we're, cool. you go to Alpha, uh, the Alpha Twitter account, and you check out the, uh, this contest. Uh, we, you can, you're just adding, or do we have a hashtag? Uh, no, they can just reply. Yeah, just so reply to the thread for uh, the Colin Kelly uh, Photoshop contest. There's a beautiful shot that was taken for his Tales from Vast episode of him Oof. lying there like a supermodel. Oh, it's beautiful. Like a hobby. Mm. Just take that photograph and Photoshop whatever you want into it. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anything at all. It can be anything. So far, I've seen Dune variants. Dune. Um, I saw one that had like a Kirei, like the some of the cards in it. I haven't seen the Princess Leia one yet. That's oh, really exciting. It's amazing. Um, just please put everything and anything on this thing. Uh, know that you will very privately be taking me a uh, gallery of these to uh, print out, frame, and fill my house with. Uh, so I'm very excited. That's not at all uh, creepy. <laughs> uh, on Sunday, uh, we will be finishing the contest. When the contest is done, Colin himself will be actually going through and picking his favorite. Uh, so you could win. Just uh, Photoshop Colin into something that you think he would love. Just put a lot of swag on it. Just put a lot of swag on it. <laughs> you can also enter on Facebook. And the Vast Forums. And the Vast Forums on Alpha. Oh. So there's like three places for you wow. to do it. Twitter, Facebook, Alpha. Or 
Twitter, Facebook, Alpha. Depending on your free priorities, free it's advice. Twitter, Facebook, Alpha. Do not include whales. You will lose. Oh, you will <laughs> yeah, uh, lose. That's not a joke. Don't, don't include lose. whales. He will straight up not have it. So, like, you'll think you're being ironic, and, like, maybe he'll love it, and maybe he'll, he'll – he won't. I it mean, will not work. him lying on don't a dead whale, maybe. Don't do it. Oh, that's but terrible. That we'll have too many. Yeah. No, yeah. do it. No. Like PETA gets involved. So, let's, uh, let's just leave it at you have the power. You, uh, Colin Kelly Photoshop content. You have the power. Go on to uh, Twitter or Facebook or the Alpha Forum and check it out. I think it's going to be a blast. So, with all of that said, uh, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Yay! Yay! You're really fast and you want to catch up and you want to maybe get a sense of, like, where the theories have been and where the fans have been and what the, what the <laughs> fans have been uh, connecting to or you just want a good recap podcast to listen to on your way to work. There's Check Asha out Handy. the Vastcast. 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 Awesome. Um, I myself listen to the Vastcast. They have <laughs> ideas that I would never have had and now I'm stealing for the show. They have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have uh, <laughs> uh, really incredible uh, thoughts about uh, uh, where we're going and how it's done. Um, that's Anne and Aki from uh, the Vastronaut uh, community. They are absolutely amazing and they have been uh, really great at sort of networking a lot of the material of Vast, which from the writer's room in me is very, you know, networked, but to the fan base, it's very hard to see that. Um, and they found a way to really do that in a way that I think you can uh, you can start to see some of the threads that we're pulling together in maybe a more full way. So I cannot, if you are watching Vast, I cannot recommend the Vast cast enough. It also doesn't take up all that much of your time. It's like one-eighth of the length of an episode of Vast, so you're good. <laughs> uh, all right, so... Uh, Down to the fraction. Said, uh, we're running almost a half an hour late. I guess I should probably start this incredibly long episode <laughs> of Vast. We're back! Woo! Um, it's uh, it's an exciting time. Uh, can we go to our UI? There we Whoa, are. Where am I? Everybody's here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Ray! Oh. Ray! Oh. oh my god! Ray's back! Yeah. We have oh. Ray back! Where were you? Uh. We had lost our minds! Lost our minds! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really oh, thank yeah. goodness. Uh, wow. Welcome back. For anybody who uh, doesn't know y'all, let's go through and just do a real quick intro, starting with the captain. Hello, my name is Amy Dallin, Ooh. and I play Captain Lucy Bard, who is a little bit kidnapped right now. Uh, <laughs> just, a just a little bit kidnapped. P-O-W. Hi, uh, I'm Amanda Powers. I play Kayla Torvis, and this is my new best friend, Roderick, that I brought with me special for today. Oh, Whoa. he's adorable. Where did you get him? Uh, <laughs> I may have oh my God. him from somebody's oh house. Excellent. Yeah. I what? hope that someone is watching. Oh, and he is. Oh, that's <laughs> Amy Max. tweeted already. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, already. oh good. Natasha oh, and good. Boris want to know where the moose is. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. He's, he is, uh, he is my very, very favorite of all of Max's taxidermies. Uh, <laughs> he, is, he just makes the silliest face. It makes for very good selfies. <laughs> he really is. Yeah, yep. he is. Yep, he's just right. the best. He's very uh, bad. All right, over to Ray. <laughs> that, that um, also. Uh, my name is Ray Utarnatchet. I play Night on the Mind, and I cannot wait to reunite with my teammates. Yay! Yeah. We gotta get back. <laughs> I'm Jody Hauser. I play Taka the Limb, um, and my dice suck. <laughs> <laughs> not true. Hopefully not, not true. tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Uh, I'm Dylan Duval, and I play Noble Defender, the pilot. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, last week was uh, pretty crazy. Can anybody give me like a real quick recap of the episode? It was like Mad Max and Fast and the Furious had a baby, and it was awesome. Leave with that. <laughs> we can't open a seatbelt. That was the, that's the summary of last week. Seat oh yeah, belt. right. Seatbelts are the devil. Seatbelts are the big bad. That's right. <laughs> so we belt. were on a mission to Terra uh, to bring the new ambassador from like the remnants of the Peace Keep, uh, but we got diverted. <laughs> by an emergency signal, which turned out to be from my family farm, uh, oh, where wow. my mom farm. was under attack. Uh, we diverted, we fought off the enemies, we definitely lost the ambassador in a terrible explosion. <laughs> <laughs> they gave uh, Michaela Torvis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, what's up? And then, you know, keep going. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we headed over, picked up my grandma, uh, and discovered that the whole thing had been orchestrated by some kind of uh, to be determined rogue faction mm -hmm. of the Terran Republic Army uh, and their super unpleasant leader, Colonel Victor Rample, who's apparently like a T1000 and a jerk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah real, really 
like that. There's sweeping desert scapes <laughs> and explosions. There was this one part oh. where Takash shot a tank so hard that it the was tank amazing. exploded. And yeah. then, and then uh, Kayla turned and killed, and then Kayla killed, killed a bear, bear point yep. blank and then took its cybernetics for her. For killed her, her, her a bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, a Xeno bear. I found the knots button. Yeah. It was awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. You so drove. There's a lot of pushing it was on the so knots button. magnificently. That's right. Uh, That's right. It's true. He did. And, and <laughs> we, can, we can, can we get a recap of your uh, awesome driving motion from you throughout want, the episode? Oh yeah. I do. Can we do? Can no, we I just, I, yeah, I just want. Go. Yeah. There it is. There you go. There you go. And hey guys, you just got to get on this thing. And just <laughs> there you go. Yep. I'm gonna. I, I miss. I'm gonna miss this for the rest of the episode. All right. Turn around. You guys don't get into any more cars. And then at the end of it, and we were trying to escape through a special tunnel. Unfortunately, uh, our captain, uh, Lucy Bard, got, got kidnapped. I was yeah. trying to seal that door up behind us uh, so everybody else could get out of the tunnel. Because uh, my stupid mom kept trying to volunteer to stay behind. <laughs> Moms are stubborn. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, right, true. Happy yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. Saved oh your mom. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I, I think your choice of shirt tonight is excellent. <laughs> Thank uh, you. May, may, the, uh, may the spirit of Carol help you through uh, this, these hard times. And now um, here we are. Yes. I know. Oh, and also, uh, Taka used non-lethal force for the first and possibly the last time. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's not true. She tried to use non-lethal force when trying to capture a good idea during the first unification. Oh, uh, fair oh. point. But that was okay. more of an attempt than an actual use. And I no, believe you supervised I mean, some shot. work on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I'm on the ship. She's on never used it. Meanwhile, yeah, yeah Nidor, Nidor has been yeah. holding yeah. out on the ship as it's been up that's in space dock around right. Terra, getting its stuff done. Oh, you guys are getting shot at. Right, exactly. Yes. Glad um, you cleaned all the controls. A, uh, <laughs> That's good. It really helps. I'm trying to think, there's like there was there was. Uh, oh, <laughs> one thing I did want to talk about actually, just because um, this will come up over the course of the game uh, for anybody who's watching the character sheets, uh, and I think is actually a really teachable moment. So just from an RPG perspective. Teachable moment. Yeah. Um, well, it's, I guess it's actually two levels of this. So, uh, I want to uh, sort of let everybody know that I'm going to be introducing a little mechanics change to Vast. Um, this is a fun thing that comes out of the homebrew of the game where I kind of get to tweak my system as it goes. Uh, you've seen me tweak the uh, success rates and things like that throughout the game. Uh, this is something that I didn't want to introduce mm. early because it makes combat more complicated. But it's something that now, as our characters have gotten used to it, as our players have gotten used to it, I think it's... It, we, and frankly, since we almost lost Rake last game because he was mm -hmm. incapable of this action, I feel like it's probably necessary to introduce the action, which is, um, and again, this is something that essentially I'm pulling from, from, the, uh, from the storyteller system, uh, which a lot of this game is built around. Uh, I'm introducing uh, dodge as a combat action. Oh. What this means, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. yeah, I don't know, because yeah. you know, yeah. oh. dodge can save your ass, but it's a little complicated for new, for like <laughs> beginner players, and so I, I, I just wanted to get us into the combat system before I introduced it. Here's how dodge works. Uh, if during a combat system, or in, in any, any combat turn, when it is your turn, uh, or you are being, say, shot at before your turn. Or you're having your own tranquilizer dart thrown back in your face. <laughs> sure. Uh, you can make an action known as a dodge. Um, this is actually harder if you, if, if, in a counter action, for what it's worth. And we'll get into that, into why. Um, but in the case of just a normal combat round, you would call dodge. When you call dodge, uh, that means that you are not going to take an attack that round. Your attack is getting the heck out of dodge, right? <laughs> that attack, uh, that that attack basically means that you are you are not using your attack that round, but you are going to get ten extra dice to your defense check. Hmm. It's yeah. a way of keeping yourself from getting shot without engaging in the combat. Yeah. Uh, this is a generally a pretty useful tool for non-combat oriented characters Ooh. or characters who straight up don't want to fire back. So as you move forward, know that dodge is something that you dodge. can do, it's something that you can call, and it's something that I will track. I know how to play with it very well, I've been doing it for years, but I omitted it from Vast early on because it was kind of complicated, and I just wanted to get everybody on the same page. So, so like the athletic dodge merit actually hasn't been abused Yes, so now, now <laughs> athletic dodge, brawling dodge, weaponry dodge, athletic dodge, like, uh, is Eric, athletic, athletic dodge? dodge? If you have yeah, any I'm of the dodges dodge. uh, as dodge yeah. merits, yeah. Those will basically add whatever skill that is to your dodge score, not your defense score. Okay. That means that any of you have been bolstered on defense up until now through that score yep. are no longer going to be bolstered by on defense by that score, for oh. what it's worth. Okay, so 
that's that's how the the dodge system works. Anybody, everybody, make sense? Yep. Everybody. Did the ambassador have dodge? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't dodge. He was in he a was he, the seatbelt. The seatbelt seat completely him negated out the when dodge. When that explosion check. happened. Uh, true. Yeah, but he, no, his his speed check was essentially his dodge. Mm -hmm. check. And mm -hmm. no, he it was one it was one I'm, week too early for him. Yeah. <laughs> Tough on your guilt wall. Sorry, Lucy. Assuming I live through this, yeah. He couldn't talk his way take, out of that one. Take it up with the seatbelt manufacturer. Wait, if Lucy Ooh. doesn't um, live through this, does she have to put herself on her guilt wall? Somebody better oh my God. put somebody my better picture take over the on the wall, wall <laughs> somewhere. Turn all the photos into a photo mosaic of Lucy Ball. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have uh, I have one other uh, thing that I want to talk about from a sort of teachable moment RPG perspective. So. Uh, Back in Tales from Vast, we introduced Kayla Torvis. This was an er earlier version of the character, and because of the way that Tales from Vast worked, and I was building new, younger versions of the characters, I just built the character sheets myself and, pre and presented them to the players. I was like, this is what your character is. It's been essentially, and especially in the case of that episode, they were all min-maxed. Like, Charlotte Rample was a social powerhouse, but not very good at anything else. Kayla Torvis was a physical powerhouse and not really good at anything else. Uh, and uh, Shin was a very good uh, mental character, but wasn't particularly good at everything else. It was some subterfuge. Those characters were very, like, sort of unrealistically min-maxed, specifically for that episode. When we introduced Kayla Torvis last episode, uh, Amanda and I both found that there were, like, real challenges towards translating a min-maxed character into a character build that actually was built in the same way as all the other characters that were around her. And so as a result, uh, we ended up uh, completely re-rolling the character this week. So the character that you see on the, it, it has the same base stats essentially, mm. but all of the XP has been respent uh, in order to better, I think, approximate what we're actually looking the character to do. So I'm really looking forward to playing this out because this is kind of like playing Kayla for the first time. So I'm jazzed. Hmm. Sweet. Um, so let this be a lesson to any anybody out there who's like, I feel kind of frustrated with my character. I feel like I made bad decisions early on. If you're early enough in the campaign and your GM's cool with it, I really recommend to your GM, uh, to, to all GMs and players out there, like, feel free to re-roll your character. Like, tweak stuff. Don't cheap it. Don't cheap it out. Don't give them 100 XP and be like, bolster your character. Like, take all the stats back and rebuild the stats. But don't feel like because you've gone too far down one line, you can't stop and make it fun. Because ultimately, that's the point of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm such a hypocrite for saying that because I'm also the most brutal GM ever, and I don't <laughs> like things to be fun at all. But it is ultimately fun. You should try to angle for that. All right. You, do, do as I say, not as I do, is the lesson here. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna pull up my dice roller so that we can actually get ourselves started. Anybody if you were have hoping anything we weren't having fun, we Jack, you've been doing this really badly. <laughs> I've been having so much fun, there. Jack. You, you, <laughs> we, we, we ruined your. Yeah, how dare you? How yeah. dare you? We ruined your. Tonight will be the opposite of that. I now talk about you in my therapy sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I know that. He made me roll. He made me roll. <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> so here we. Assuming, do I have uh... Yeah, that's good. Sure. Good. Can we turn up the uh, mm -hmm. sound just a little bit? Thank you very much. All right. Hit me. Sorry, a little more. I just want to be able to hear my Sirenscape. All part of the plan. By the way, All Vast, we use Sirenscape, Sirenscape, and you should too. It's Sirenscape. <laughs> that would be an entirely different thing. Yeah. <laughs> what does that look? Yeah. It's like in the air. <laughs> I feel like in the universe Sirenscape is a, a web browser that just comes with all the malware. Yeah. <laughs> Sirenscape. Yeah. yeah. It, it is selling all your info to everyone. Yeah, always. It's great. It's an apps package that does nothing but screw you up. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, this episode of Vast is written by Rick Bear. Rick Ooh. is, uh, uh, if, if you listen to the Vast cast, you'd have a really nice background on Rick. They did a great interview with him. You would learn how he and I have known each other since we were kids, and how we wrote stuff together for the first time, and I would read his stuff, and his, he would read my stuff, and now here we are, uh, you know, full-grown adults uh, doing this <laughs> professionally. Uh, it's, a, it's a really fun <laughs> experience. Um, Rick has been our pioneer of all things Terra. Most of the Terran lore that you've seen in this show uh, top to bottom uh, comes from Rick. Uh, I uh, owe him a huge debt of creative gratitude. Uh, that that vast uh, 
adventure created by Jackson Lansing thing that comes up every uh, episode really at this point should have his name in it whenever we're dealing with Terra uh, because I am I am mostly playing in his universe less him playing in mine so big congrats to Rick big thanks to Rick um, you're awesome uh, and uh, he's, he's right over here in the studio I'll bring him out at the end uh, assuming he's still alive and uh, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll get through Whoa. it oh. wow. can we kill people out of game now <laughs> yeah well, it, it depends on how pissed you guys get about this game I guess oh, no, oh fair you rolled the one uh, yeah. oh. Oh. Uh, all right. Does he have dodge? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna just test my. We're gonna come back from break. I'll just like cover it with blood and not say anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So that, that's, out, that's all sounding. That's all awesome. sounding good. That's all sounding good. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. <clears throat> it's so quiet now. Welcome to Vest. This is episode five of season two, entitled Sojourner, written by Rick Bear, and starring all of y'all. So, the Terran Republic is unlike any civilization humans have ever built. It is enormous. Its citizens number nearly two billion. It is a place where cultural diversity is celebrated and shared by all. Thousands and thousands of belief systems, lifestyles, religions, sexual orientations, and music, tastes, <laughs> exist together in infinite combination. The cultures of humanity mesh together in a giant Terran superculture. The philosophy of the Republic is one of progress. The sojourners of old believed that the course for humanity after the fall of Earth was in the stars. That belief lives on in the Republic. People believe it. Politicians campaign on it. Money is spent because of it. And the thing that made it all possible was the Pakha. Lucy Barge, your homecoming did not go well. With the Pakha gone and their darkest secret revealed, Terran Republic politics have gotten complicated. Not only have you been branded a traitor, but you've also been captured. Kayla Torvis, Taka, Noble Defender. You, along with Lita Bard, Lucy's mother, and Margaret North, Lucy's grandmother, are on your way to the Terran Republic, specifically the capital city of Journeyman's Rest. Kayla has used her contacts both on Avalon and in the Republic to get you in there in order to rescue your captain. But first, we return to the Avalon, the ship, the one in space, not the island where Nidar <laughs> is overseeing the repair and retrofit of the Starcrosser. <coughs> Nidar. Yes. It's fun being an intern. <laughs> you've been, uh, you've had a chance to sort of hang out on the ship for uh, a bit of time. Uh, as you've been there, uh, mostly Terran engineers uh, from Peacekeep and Peacekeep uniform have been making their way around uh, oh. the ship. There's sort of a space dock that's built around it. Uh, <laughs> They have been, uh, they've taken a sort of special interest in you. Uh, you're quite alien to them, and the mechanics even of your uh, suit are relatively alien to them. And so they have spent some time kind of poking and prodding you and looking around and kind of seeing what's up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not knocking glass. on the glass. Uh, engineers have been working with the ship's crew uh, to upgrade systems on the Avalon. Progress has been slow but steady. Uh, have you, do you think, have you been taking time with them? Do you have other, like, left alone to Nidar's own devices on the ship for a little bit? What's he up to? Well, I think he's, uh, <clears throat> I think he's interested in what the, the sort of, what the, you know, how the Terrans are moving forward now that the whole facade of the Pakha has fallen. You know, I'm interested in sort of how they're going to, progress from here on out. So, have you, uh, have you brought this up with anyone? Um, I probably pulled one or two aside that I'm working with, like, closely, you know. I mean, am I mainly on the bridge overseeing? So you've been, yeah, yeah, you've been mostly on the bridge. You've yeah. been hanging out there. So I think um, there's a... that would come in, I would probably, you know, ask a few probing questions. Okay. Um, so, one engineer on the bridge uh, who... The one, probably the guy who took the most of a immediate kind of liking to you, or at least curiosity in you. Um, 
he uh, he invites you to uh, come have a meal with him uh, at the uh, at the bar, basically. Commissary. Yeah, the commissary. <laughs> uh, he's interested in getting. Uh, you know, he he he's not sure if you eat. Do you eat? Um, there is a version of eating. Yeah, it's probably not, I don't know. There isn't a mouth exactly, but I, I think I probably put stuff into the jar somewhere and it dissolves into you a just liquid. Just sprinkle fish. Food. Yeah, it's a little bit like oh, that's fish cool. food, but I, food. I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. But I think I can take real food and put it in there, and I think it just it, dissolves. Yeah, it dissolves yeah. into nutrients that you can then absorb. That's absorbs pretty into rad. I'm into that. Uh, okay, cool. So he, uh, so he takes you to, um, to you know have a meal. Um, and sort of, he watches you as you <laughs> take a, you know, take chicken, chicken carbonara and <laughs> dump it in your headpiece. <laughs> is there like a blender in there? <laughs> is this, is this how they eat on your world? Well, you know, on my world, I would, wouldn't be normally trapped in this device I'm in right now. But it's a version of this where we are out and free in this sort of an ocean, and we absorb nutrients from everything around us. I'm sorry, you say trapped. Do you? I sort of assumed this was a vessel of uh, liberation. <laughs> well, it depends on which way you look at it. I am liberated from being only on my planet, but it is necessary for me to be in this, trapped in this device if I am to wander past my planet and into the universe. So in a way I am trapped, but it is a, uh, it's, it is a inconvenience that I uh, have come to live with. You know, you might not believe this, but I can actually empathize. Uh, humanity oh, wow. is, well, we're trapped in our own way. Only way that I ever got to any other planet, ever saw anywhere else, was in this uniform. I was here in Republic military for most of my life. We don't even have crossing guards. We can't leave our system. Leaving the planet alone is a Herculean effort for us. It's only with the Pakha that we were able to spread out and see what there was to see. And even then, only really under their supervision. <laughs> it's, uh... Well, it's a lot like being trapped and also free. Hmm. Now, you say military uniform. You were made to fight for the Paka. Never fought once. Just, you know, made to work. <clears throat> but I volunteered. Mm -hmm. It was worth it to be able to go out there and see what I got to see. The dozen moons over Kire and the... Man, you should see the Zokotal homeworld. It's like nothing you've ever seen. The whole planet is, it's like one of them. <laughs> Based like, on what I know about the Zokoro, I can't imagine what the homeworld would be like. It's real alien. But when you were, so did you never leave Terran? Did you never leave this planet? I left once I put on the uniform. But before then, no, I fought for my people. Terra's not exactly unified. We have quite the government, but there's a, uh, there's a lot of rabble-rousers. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so you fought amongst yourself, as opposed to fighting others. Well, there's no one else around us to fight. <coughs> I find that very peculiar. Why would you fight amongst your own kind? On my planet, we are nothing but at peace with one another. It is others that we fear, but of our own kind. 
We are very comfortable. Terrans don't have a great history of thinking of ourselves as being of our own kind. Kinds mm. tend to get smaller and smaller and smaller until, well, until you start looking at each other Terrans as alien themselves. Oh. It's hard to see when you're part of it. I really didn't see it until I was up here in the first place. The Paca really gave us a lot of gifts. They really helped open our eyes. Hmm. Well, that makes me very sad for your people. I think your energies should be used to live together in harmony. And if there is any fear that should be directed at anyone, it should be those that are not of your kind who look to seek your kind harm. But among your own, you should find a way to live together in harmony. All right, Nidar. You're gonna roll me a social convince. All right. <laughs> Uh, what is that? I'm gonna make it for you. This yeah, is made you from your so manipulation, many. your empathy, your persuasion. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add your socialize because you're doing it in a social setting. Ooh. Um, you're not using any of your telepathy, your mind control here. You're just no, doing no. This we're just we're just talking. All right, nice. Casual um, speech. Fourteen. With a little mind 14? control between fourteen. Friends. <laughs> If he rolls really well, does that just mean oh, Tara's in peace now? World yes, peace? Yes. yes. He yes. can solve the whole episode right here. With one social World principle. peace. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I like that idea, though. Talk to me, brain. Talk to me. That is a seven. Nice. So it's a medium success. It's a high medium, so I'll have him roll against it. He kind of nods. You know, and he kind of gets into like hushed tones. And the brain moves a little closer. You know, they told us a lot of stuff about you that you can get in our heads. That the ones who traveled with you, the aliens, that they're dangerous. It's not safe for you here. It's not safe for any of you. Hmm. Well, why are you telling me that? Do you want something for me? Or do you truly care about my well-being? We hardly know each other. No. We don't. But what you said Let's just say I've been thinking a lot of similar things. <clears throat> and the tide down on the planet, I don't know that it's gonna turn without some real help. Listen, we don't have much time. I brought you here because I wanted to know who you were. And if you were who I thought, and I think you are, need to get down to the planet. Or at least you need to get off the ship. Hmm. Because things here, they are not what they... And then, immediately, power all over the room that you're in goes out. Oh. <laughs> uh, lights go out. Systems go down. Nidor. You can hear your crew calling for each other in the dark around here. 
and on comms. It's a shipwide emergency. Shipwide emergency. Dimming lights, uh, or dim lights, uh, like emergency lights, spring on uh, in sort of paths to corridors leading to doors and exits. Uh, people around you in this bar can see each other, but barely. What do you do? Do I have any way to talk to, um, is there like an engineering or? Uh, you can try to reach out to. Is there like a comm that I can yeah, access you, or anything you, like you, that? Your, your suit is built to okay. comms. So if you want to reach out via comms, you can. I was like, yeah, I just want to find out what's going on. If it's a, you know, sort of like a normal failure or what, if there's something else going on. You're hearing nothing on your comms from engineering. Nothing. No, it's a deadline. Nobody's line. responding. It is a deadline. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, the, uh, the engineer that you were like talking to. I feel like I should to, definitely head to the bridge. The engineer you were talking to stands up. Um, he pulls a small weapon. Um, it's, it's like a, like a, uh, it's not a scatter pistol. It's like a projectile. Oh. You gotta move, and you gotta move now. I'm supposed to secure this room. There's others like me throughout the facility. I can't leave. But you better get your people, as many of them as you can, and get out of here soon. Oh, man. They're taking the ship. So you're telling me, I'm talking to this guy. Yeah, yeah, totally. You're telling me to abandon my ship, the Avalon, and get head to the planet, and leave this ship with you people. Not with me. Get out while you still can, on your own. Otherwise, trust me, they are not going to see eye to eye. At this point, you start to hear gunshots. Yeah. From, like, distant gunshots from through the walls. Can I get to the bridge? How, how fast can I get to the bridge? Uh, it it would be a bit of a trek. You'd need to basically get, you'd be getting into a uh, uh, an elevator, essentially, and that yeah. lift would take you to the uh, to the bridge. Is if you want to try it, you can, <laughs> you can definitely Flood in try it. some vents well, or something vets. like that. Yeah, alternately, right. You could you could try it. Like, that That basically exposes you to people. Otherwise, yeah, you could try to Does head Seek really help there? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I think I'm going to your... try to take the quickest way to the bridge so I can sort of gain control of the ship. So, uh, stealthy or non-stealthy? Stealthy. Very, okay. Definitely stealthy. All right, cool. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check for Let's me. Play. Uh, which... Good. Die hard through the... Uh... Yes. Hold on a second. This is your that has the brain dex. gone. You're stealthy. <laughs> you are not a very stealthy dude, but that's okay. And the castle. I'm going to be bagging through the vents. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Stupid new robot body. Thirteen. Thirteen or? That's not terrible. <laughs> random cop gets on your, your comms. Wait, are you in the vents? <laughs> <laughs> so, five. Okay. Uh, so you retract your limbs and head into the vents. Uh, but as you head in, you're, um, you're, as you're moving through, uh, you trip off alarms oh, man. <laughs> uh, that end up setting up, like, essentially, like, force fields in the vents. Wow. Um, so you get cut off about halfway to the bridge. Oh, man. Okay. But there's a corridor below you. So I'll, I guess I got to... Use a little laser. Let me... <laughs> can I scan to see if there's anyone in the corridor that yep. may be dangerous? To Telepathy me. scan for 24. 24. <laughs> or at least hide yourself from them. Yeah. Is that a thing you can do? Um, I don't know. I'm loving this. Okay. Oh, like Jedi mind tricks? Um, I like the sneaky brain music. I'm sneaky thinking. brain music, yep. It's dancy. Uh, well, okay, this is looking good. Yeah, not bad, right? Garbage. Garbage. Seven. No, no. One, two, oh, three, sorry. four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. Ten. Woo! Sorry. Ten. 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 God damn. Uh, all right. Uh, hold up. Ooh. Deal with that. <laughs> what is going on? on the okay, oh, so uh, the corridor below you, you reach out into the corridor to get a sense of what's going on. 
uh, down the corridor, some 30 feet or so, are a uh, team of uh, five Republic military uh, humans. Uh, they are all armed, and you can tell from their minds, uh, because you get into all of them from like an informational perspective, uh, that they are not here to shoot to kill. They are here to. Sh they are. They are only shooting at those who are actually like standing up against them, uh, with a couple of exceptions. They absolutely want you dead. <laughs> um, they have specific orders to deal with aliens. That's wow. Your turn on that. uh, right. Terrans, other people like that, they're like, you know, other peacekeep, they're not looking to kill. They are not psyched about having any brightest eye around. So they so are. So they're basically, they are they're just trying to take guys. over the ship. Um, there are, what you get from, from, you know, with a 10, because that's a huge roll, uh, what you get from that across the board is that there are somewhere in the vicinity of about a thousand of these guys on the ship. Damn, like geez. a full crew complement. Has boarded the Avalon through this startup. Wow! And we, how many do? How many crew members do we have? On you have a couple hundred on the ship right now. Oh man! You're at a skeleton crew right now. Yeah. And in fact, the ship is being right now being retrofitted to operate with a skeleton crew. That was why the piece yeah. was sent in here in the first place. Uh, but it seems like those responsible for retrofitting the machine have uh, been tasked with taking it over. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the other thing I'll let you know about oh. this uh, uh, this area is that there are a couple of, um, uh, they have a couple of captives with them that they're taking down about 35 feet, but yeah. in the other direction, there are escape pods. There's a bank of five escape pods. But I'm by myself. I, there's no, right now you are by yourself. There are no friendly skeleton crew nearby. No. Uh, there, well, there are ones who are in captive by those five dudes. Yeah. I don't think I, I think I've got a, I think I've got to get off the ship. I don't think there's any way I can save these coupons. Really, this is what I wanted to do. Um, can I? Not without some hardcore mind control. Yeah, but even then. Yeah. I mean, controlling a thousand people. I mean, is that something? A thousand doesn't seem right. You got five in the. <laughs> you got five in this corridor. For well, let me um, let me try to. Let me try one. Let me. I'm gonna see if I can control one of them. Okay. And I'm gonna start with that. All right, cool. Uh, telepathy control for 19. Please. Okay. So let's see. Cause I feel like I get one yeah. working against the other. Yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold up. These five are in a cluster, correct? Uh, I need to add that biohack that. Uh, oh yeah, what that, is uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, biohack upgrade. telepathy? Yeah, yeah, it's 21 now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That was the uh, that was the upgrade oh, that Hans, Hans <laughs> did to you last season Ooh. to boost you in advance of the uh, the big. Showdown. Hack his brain. Yeah, like that. This is all good. Uh, mindy mind. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see zeros. Zeros, zeros. Nines. I like this. Take these away. Yep, I like this. Go one, on. two, three, four, five, what? six, seven, eight, nine. Those are. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're nine. Right. How are we doing? I uh, got nine. Nine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You reach out, that's a full success. You reach out to um, one of them, the sort of the, the leader of the five squad, and manage to uh, worm your way into his mind. Uh, you can now talk with his voice and move his body for at least one turn. I wonder if I should just take those guys out. Yes. I think I think That's that guy. Idea. I'm gonna see if that guy could just shoot the hell out of the, the rest of the crew he's with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's taking him out like yes. Um, all right. Uh, you are through this guy's mind now in combat with four Terran Republic military. <laughs> okay, officers. with this uh, guy. You hold up. Uh, you're gonna roll initiative. Um, this yeah, guy what, yeah has, what kind of weapons does he have on him? Uh, he has essentially a machine gun on him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't shoot any of the prisoners. Like no, he, oh, yeah, he has, he has a couple of incendiaries. He's got big grenades. Yeah. <clears throat> so he uh, could just throw, he could just like, <laughs> just pull a just grenade. Pull you could also do that. Just pull yeah. With the, um, but, and that'll be more subtle. Right, right, they've I mean, got captives. <laughs> Wait, what? They've got captives. They do have cap. They do they have captives? I'm not here. Yeah. I can't yeah, yeah. say yeah, that. They, they have captives. They They're walking down the hallway. So okay. If this they is would a, this be, is they would concern. die too. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Depending on how fast they could run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, up to you, but first you're gonna, um, you're gonna roll initiative. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll, since this guy has, he's the leader of the squad, so they trust him. Leader of go the ahead and roll, like, 15. Okay. okay. Woo! Yeah, because it's a surprise attack. Exactly, totally. surprise attack. Sure is. <laughs> yeah. Aliens. Yeah, one of them was just saying, I, I can't, like, I can't wait oh, to eat. Man. My, my wife has been waiting for you to buy your birthday party. These are really good right good. now. Okay, Chris, don't count, but one, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Oh. You have first action. What do you do? Um, I get, he, He's got a machine gun. I'm going to do the machine gun because I don't want to blow up the prisoner. So. Okay. I'm gonna see how many guys he can take out with a machine gun. Turn around and just try and shoot all just four of them in the round. Him, like. Okay, <laughs> spray firing that machine gun. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, now you have a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, right. Machine gun. The brain has a machine gun. <laughs> I love how immediately this became a diehard thing, like so quickly. It's amazing. Um, all right, go ahead and roll. Uh, it's like a... broken glass in the vents. He's flying. Off. I love it. Um, Let's say this dude's range combat is probably pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna make a general roll here. But really... And it's close combat, so you know. Yeah. It's right there. I can't really. Have to can't shoot dodge that. that. Far. Can't dodge that. Dodge this. Yeah. Roll a twenty for your first two. <laughs> right. All right. Wow, that's, don't let him shoot you. This is getting crazy. Um, and are you oh shooting? Are God. you shooting to maim or shooting to kill? I'm shooting to kill. Yeah, okay. you are. <gasps> oh man. Oh man. He uh, is on fire. He's, oh. These dice are nice. To, okay, so the crits don't count, right? So. Yep. No crits count. Oh, count. crits count. Yeah. Damn. Okay, you do the count. I okay. can't count that fast. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Wow. Okay. Uh, first guy, absolutely dead. Yeah. Um, one of you, I, we're, this, imagine time has slowed down and you are just <laughs> <laughs> slow motion bullet, little John Woo action. So, yeah. yeah, so that first dove flies by. So you got one. So that's that's that that one. Uh, give me a uh, give me a second one. All right. Uh, take two dice out of that check. Okay, oh, so 18. that's uh, 18. Rolling high. Yeah. Rolling high. All right. Do what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just yeah. do what you're doing. <laughs> Ain't broke. It's like a perfect game. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Baseball reference. Defense is a four, so you gotta beat a four. Uh, defense is a four? Yeah, that wasn't it. Yeah, they all rolled pretty low on defense. Well, there's one. This is actually the highest defense of the four checks. Oh, jeez. These guys. Wow. They were not prepared for their leader to turn around and kill all of them with a machine gun. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, they didn't this see is, that coming. This is unexpected yeah. for them. Mm. Yeah, fine. Crawl guy. You just take that away. You're good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay. That guy is also dead. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Oh! Killing! Yay! Uh, <laughs> four dice for your next check. They are trying so, to steal oh, our take, take out four from the next one? Yes. Four from the initial 14, or four from what he just days. rolled? Yeah. Oh, uh, four from... So the 16? Four from the initial check. So, so 16. 16. 16. So two more, 16. okay. All right. Oh, man, yeah. Oh. I think Woo! I'm just gonna have Ray roll on Lighten him up. Oh, 16, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. there you go. Uh, that was a zero. Okay. That is, and you hit it with that dice. Oh, garbage, garbage, garbage. So there were how many yeah. of them? A thousand? I'm good. <laughs> I know, you yeah, just keep. Ten. Ten. <laughs> Ooh, I just keep to be awesome. Murder Ray. <laughs> Murder Brain has officially what? murdered three dudes. Murder yeah. Last uh, last check, you're gonna take four off of this check. So if that was 16, you're now rolling 12. 12. Oh, okay. yeah. It's all right. Because it's a little less of a surprise for the fourth dude. Who said Brain? It's just, it just it's exponential. Yeah, yeah. It's like each one you're gonna pull, you're gonna pull. Normally you'd pull one off the first check, yeah. but I pull two off. You then you pull oh, yeah, two, right then you pull four, so then you pull eight, and it you still <laughs> just gets harder and harder. Wait, that's a nine. Chain attacks. Oh, that's a, that's yeah, a nine. That's a nine. Okay. I just pulled two sixes. off because I was being ordinary. Right. Normally, and really should pull one for those of you who Five. 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 It's still, like, that one's a lot closer, uh, but it's still a kill. So, wow. yes. um, you yes. and all four of these military officers go down, leave, leaving this one dude alive. 
Uh, if you want to keep control over him, you have to roll for your telepathy control. Oh shit! I wonder if I should keep control of him. He's a pretty good shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I get. Let me keep control. Let me see if I can keep control. Okay, try for it. Uh, this is a mind control check, telepathy that control for twenty one. But because but this works the same way all other checks work, okay. so you're gonna take one off of it. It's okay. twenty now. So twenty. Yes. Oh shucks. Only twenty. Only. I know. Only twenty. Watch out! You're knocking over some dice, but. Successes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna help you. Yeah. For time. There you go. Can I take out the nothings? Take out the nothings. It's a team effort here. Team effort. That's the yeah, that was the that was oh, that. that. Okay. See? Okay. <laughs> no, it's more like this. That's good. Yeah, those are good. Okay. There we go. That's better. Thank you. Oh, you know. Eleven. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you continue to have control over him. You awesome. are my brain, bitch. What do you do now? You can talk with his mouth and move with his body. Um, can I can I communicate with the prisoners that he that yeah, were I over mean, there? Through, how through how many mouth. of them were there? What was that? How many of them did they? How many prisoners did they have? He has about ten uh, uh, peacekeep officers. Because they didn't start running after you just murdered everybody. Most, <laughs> of, them, um, most of them are key Ray. Uh, you got like a Zocodal. I wonder if like I mean shit. No flames. I'm going like to try to talk through him. I'm like, this is Nidar, your science officer. First commander. First, no, no. I'm not nah, the commander. He's, he's, oh, right, he's kind of a floater. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your science officer now, for, <laughs> now captain, is what I should say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> come down here. Run as fast as you can towards me. Run as fast me. as you can towards me. <laughs> behind, you know, run behind this man talking. Run behind this I'm man controlling talking. his mouth. I am controlling his mouth. Uh, all right. So uh, do they do as he says, they, or is it so fucking weird that they're, they're all not? they're all a little concerned about it, but they do. I make him put his gun down, so you know. Okay, he puts his gun. They're like, oh, okay. And they move side. past him, um, and they end up do they below see the me? grate that you're in. Okay. Can they see me, or no? They can not see. Uh, me? I mean, they can look up and see you in the grate if you want them to. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, like, can I come down yeah, through the grate? Well, I'm coming down through the grate so they can see me. Okay, cool. So you pop down through the grate, lower down. Your your uh, sort of wire legs extend down so that you can land. And now, is there a, is there are there any engineers in this group? Do you know, is there anyone um, that I could talk to about? What these the would mostly be because you're pretty close to the bridge, so these would mostly be like support staff. Support staff. Neat. That's the best thing you can have. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think if there's any way to, to keep. This ship. There's this more ship. gunfire coming now down from the corridor. So it's coming towards us. Yeah. I think we should probably. I mean, how far? Because we probably want to get escape pods too. Their escape pods, literally, right like there, ten feet from you. And there's thousands of them, right? There's really. Yeah, thousands there are eight thousand of these dudes. <laughs> well, now nine hundred and ninety-six. Six. Six. He's yeah. halfway to the bridge, though, right? He's about halfway to the bridge. Yeah. Halfway to the bridge. I mean, even if I You're make not it there. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me, let me. I want to. I want to actually. I want to. I do want to hash it out with someone, with one of the officers. I, I want to have a quick, very quick conversation. With one okay, Akure, uh, Akure walks up to yeah, you, um, who uh, you've recognized as like he's sort of a like lower level science support staff guy. All right. Uh, <sighs> no, no, that was. I can't believe what you did that. <laughs> I can't believe I did it either, quite frankly. I've never done anything like that before, but it was pretty cool. Now, we don't <laughs> we don't have much time. What did you see? Tell me what you saw, if anything, from where you were standing when all this went down. We had uh, boarding parties hit the ship at all angles. Uh, we had uh, breaching crafts hit the bridge. Uh, we have, uh, they took engineering first, so we have no control over ship systems. Uh, they are already shutting down uh, all crucial uh, systems. I think they've taken life support off of most decks. The bridge is locked down. I've never seen this much Republic military in one place. Uh, honestly, it's, they, they tell you to be afraid of Terrans. This is the first time I've ever agreed. I would have to agree with you. Um, so we have no control, no ship control functions, even if we make it to the bridge. No, you have you spoken control. to Captain Bard? She is, um, she's not here. Um, yeah, no, I know. We haven't heard from her since she landed on the planet. We assumed that her and the ambassador would check in once they got to Journeyman's Rest, but... We haven't heard anything. It's been, it's been radio silence since they have left. Uh, and I'm worried that 
what is happening is on the ch on the ship is now happening on the ground with them. Um, I think what we need to do is reunite with our team as soon as possible. I think we have to abandon the ship. Sort of the silence around the words abandoned ship. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. And I, I tell everyone, let's get into the escape pods. Okay. Uh, there are five escape pods, big enough for two each. Um, so you get two into each, which means you get to go with somebody if you want. Um, as opposed to what? Alone. As, as opposed to alone? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, let me ride with someone. Okay. Do you, have a, do you want this... Uh, the helm the officer, do you yeah. want somebody with a specific skill set? What's your... Let's do um, this This person I've been talking to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, she uh, identifies herself as... Uh, as Yidris Grayten Peel, that's Y-I-D-R-I-S. You can call her Yidris, or you can call her Peel, P-E-E-L. <laughs> uh, the middle name is, uh, or the clan name is Grayton, which is G-R-E-A-T-E-N-N. -E -N. Grayton. Grayton. Yep. And she's a curé? Yes. Right, Young. Right. Like, much younger than Lulu or Rick. And what was her specialty? <clears throat> she's, like, a lower-level uh, helm. Or science officers. Oh, science officers. Okay. Um, all right, Idris. Mm. Let's hop into this pod. Let's get down to that planet. And let's find our team. Aye, aye, Captain? <laughs> For now. Aye, aye, Captain Brain and Chief. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and you guys press the escape pods and jettison off towards the planet, uh, heading towards Terra. Uh, meanwhile, on the uh, in the... Uh, corridor uh, you just left uh, as soon as you clear proximity of the uh, ship that dude wakes up <laughs> and looks down horrified at his four squad mates brothers he's known <coughs> his whole life now dead at his hand wow meanwhile, meanwhile. wow now the wow. whole rest of the episode is about that guy dealing with <laughs> yes indeed. he goes into therapy they effed with the wrong star crosser <laughs> yes they did they did uh, hold on. Uh, all right. Good roll, man. Meanwhile. Oh, oh shit. Back on the planet. Kayla Torvis, you have contacted your old pal Magnus Lee. Magnus operates a shipping business between Avalon and the Republic. Uh, you have chartered his cargo plane for passage from Avalon to Journeyman's Rest. You're all, that being the three of you, Noble, Taka, and Kayla, hanging out on the plane. After recent events, there's probably a lot to unpack, so we'll just kind of let that sit. You guys have been in this plane for a little bit. Magnus is at the pilot station. Uh, Magnus, for um, sort of imagination's purposes, he's in his late 40s. Uh, he's a former bounty hunter. He's kind of a, a big, uh, kind of gregarious Asian dude. Am I awake? Yes. <laughs> yes. Finally. You, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, uh, you, woke, uh, you woke around the time that the plane arrived. Uh, you were out for about half a day. Uh, your injuries have mostly healed, and... Uh, like the physical injuries uh, were mostly healed by people on Magnus' side. They have like some shorthand medical and uh, uh, Lido was able to help as well, being well-versed in uh, not your biology, but certainly in uh, field medicine. So we're just headed generally towards the Republic? The idea is you're headed towards Journeyman's Rest. Oh, yes. just towards Journeyman's Rest. And is there a specific destination? Uh, not yet. Okay. Can we assume I got filled in on all the Rample stuff that they discussed at the end of the last episode just so we don't have to rehash everything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Magnus, how long till we arrive? Should be just a few hours now, Kayla. Assuming we don't hit uh, choppy skies or choppy military. All right, give me a half hour warning, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. Okay. 
Yeah. Will I get that big? Uh, highly unlikely. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You haven't grown in a long time. Like, a, mostly as long as I've known you. You're, you're probably as big as you're going to get at this point. Okay, all right. I mean, I have no idea how old you are. Do you? Uh, well... Uh... Day oh, oh, from oh. crash... 28 cycle. Then you're, you're, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. How did he get that big? Uh... I never... I just, like... Amazing. Listen, listen, I, I, I fell asleep during low school, so <laughs> I don't really know. People are different. Every, everyone's different. <clears throat> don't take it personally. Um, what school? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, God, this is Kayla, not what I thought I Kayla, did that dude just ask for. what school was? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, Magnus. Um, dude, I don't know. Like, this guy has never been to Terra before. I don't really know anything more than that. He's kind of an idiot. First time. <laughs> He's not an idiot. He's just unexpected. He doesn't know what that word means, so it doesn't really matter. He just learned your language. <laughs> I do know what idiot means. <laughs> but don't take it personally. I don't. Cool. All right. Now that we've, school is is school is the place you go to learn things. Are you an idiot too? No. All right. <laughs> only uh, when hey. only when I have about seven or eight beers in me, but you know, not now. Beer. Oh God. I've read about hey, that. speaking of which, Kayla, there's a there's a bottle of something back there. I I think oh. it's whiskey. I got sold to oh, it at oh. a little place in the travels. All right, Magnus. That's, that's good. We're fine. I heard, All wait, right. I heard a story about that. No, no, hold on, hold on. I heard a story about that. There was a guy, and and he needed uh, one shot of bourbon, one whiskey, okay. and one beer. I, just, and, I, have oh, to go. I know that song. One, one bourbon, one whiskey. Yeah, no. Oh, one yeah. beer. Oh, I yeah. grew up, and that, I'm just going to... I That's mean, a historical. Not horribly, but I'm slapping Noble across the face. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the night, Kayla slaps you. Whack! Hey! That's something that I know about Terrence. Is that sometimes it takes one shot, one bourbon, one beer. And I don't know what that means. And somebody's gotta pay the rent, and I okay. don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, where is that bottle again? Right under your uh. Ah, the seat, the, uh, the pale one with the eyes. How, how do you keep him under control? I don't hit him, for one. That's seemed to help. You shut the fuck up. Don't do it again. That's all bad. Oh. oh. We're going to threaten each other now, huh? Hey, hey, I thought hey. we were supposed to go find your captain here. Well, we are, but I don't think enacting violence on each other is going to help with that. Recent evidence to the contrary. Sure, fair enough. <laughs> Noble. Uh huh. We have to find your captain. I'm trying to get us to focus on that. All right. Anything else you want to know? I can. One of us can help answer for you as soon as we find her. Okay, that's great. But all I know is that I'm sitting here. That guy can't drive for shit. And hey, there's hey. a whiskey bottle. Hey. Hey, what do you say about my driving? <laughs> I said you, never no. mind. <laughs> you watch your mouth. What? Well, That's called being rude. You don't insult the man who's taken us somewhere as a favor. Ooh. It's a bad thing. No, sorry, I see it. Sorry. My bad. My mistake. Apologize. I'm learning words. I'm so sorry. Ambassador talk, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, around this time, uh, important to note, in the back of the planes, you, there's sort of like the, there's the cockpit and there's the cargo hold that you guys are in, and then in the back of the plane, there's a two-seater, uh, and in those two seats are uh, the bards, or the bard in the north. Uh, Margaret North, Lita Bard, both sitting back there. Uh, Lita is clearly shaken. 
Uh, Margaret actually seems to be holding her shit together. I'm going to go back there and leave the two of them to whatever it is they're doing. Okay. Um, so you head back. Uh, Lita, uh, or Margaret stands up and offers the seat to you if you want it. Margaret, please sit. Can't blame me for trying. And she sits down. I'm going to go retrieve the bottle real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and isn't the bottle you, underneath my yeah, seat? Yeah, you, you head over to, under, uh, to Taka. Oh, underneath her seat? Yeah, you head over to, to, to Taka. You bend down near her. There's a small, like, sort of lock box there. It's unlocked. She starts to unlatch it. What is that? Do you drink? Water? This is not water. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it would work with your physiology or not, but... Could I try some? If, mm. You're more than welcome to. Okay. <laughs> Offer her a little bit, take the rest of it back with me, because uh, I know Margaret needs a drink. Cool. So there's a few little shot glasses. She, you pour one for her. Give it to you. It's a uh, brown liquid. Smells super astringenty. I would I would sip. <laughs> if it's your first time. I take a sip. All right. Um, <laughs> Do I have to roll something? I'm well, no. So here's where you get into a, a particular thing that I'm very, uh, that I've always wanted to play with, but I'm not going to play with tonight because it's way too complicated. <laughs> but just so anybody out there wants to have an interesting thought experiment, um, alcohols are very specific. And uh, an alien drinking, like, our like the particular brand of alcohol that happens to work on human physiology would either probably not work or be highly toxic. The idea that it would work for you is a very, very slim chance. Yeah, I figure it might just be an interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. experiment. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to say is it's not going to be highly toxic because that's a bunch of nonsense for this now. This, it's just going to pass right through you with literally no, uh, like, physiological effect. It has no nutritional value either. It's, it, it is a non-entity to you. But it has an interesting taste. Hmm. Kind of, um, it's not water. It's got <laughs> something more to it. It's a little sweet and a little sweet, strange. A little, little strange. Like a sap, but not quite. Like a sap, but not quite, yeah. You can actually, there's a thing, mm -hmm. actually. Can listen, you roll your perception listen? listen? Yeah. yeah. Perception listen. Only in Vast will you go down the history of what the whiskey is she's drinking by where the soil <laughs> comes from. Oh, and but, but it is plant-based. <laughs> this so. is my I, awesome. this is where the whiskey nerd in me gets to jam out a little bit. That's exciting. Where was the barrel coop? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, you head back with the rest of the whiskey. Uh, yeah. Does it follow. Uh, four. I can. S you're on a tiny I mean, ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, but, I'm, I'm, but that's fine. You can What's up? Fixed. Four. Okay, yeah, you don't, you, you, uh, it's made from some degree of plant, but you can't really tell what, the, the actual plant itself is unfamiliar, but you do know that it was cared for. Hmm. This stuff was made with love. Whoever made this was very proud of it. You can tell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I have about half of the thing and hand the rest to Noble. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes very nice. Doesn't do anything to you, maybe, but for him, it's a different story. But what would it do to him? Uh, uh, primarily dulls senses, response times, but makes many more talkative than they already are. No, no, no. Why would, why would you be drinking it if we're going into battle soon? Because I can hold my liquor. Uh, uh, and because I'm only having a little bit. I know my limits. He does not. Can I? All right. You, stop following me. Keep your distance. This is none of your business. You don't get to tell me anything. Like that. I'm sorry, but I've heard about that all my life, and I've never seen it or tried it. I just want to know. So I apologize. That's it. Okay. All right, well, if he's going to cry about it, I'm going to leave, like, <laughs> this much in there. All right. Two sips. <laughs> no, like, a sip in two there. Sips. So she Here. takes a sip out of it. There, nope. was only, there was only probably two sips left in there, so she takes one, hands it to you. Oh, wow. Now, please let me talk to the, to the ladies alone, all right? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> and you head back. 
All right. And I'm watching his reaction while he drinks it. I'm going <laughs> to pour another one, and I'm going to um, uh, lead up. <laughs> oh! She'll take it. Why does it hurt? <laughs> oh! Oh! I thought it was very pleasant. I don't know why he's <laughs> talking about that. That hurts. <laughs> um, Are you okay? So, she starts to sip it. Nuh-uh. No sipping. <laughs> Shooting it? Margaret? You know it. All right. To Lucy. To Lucy. All right. Now that that's done, what are we going to do about this? Uh, Lita just looks off for a second. We do everything in our power to get her back. Well, that's a given. But I'm more meant she's your kin, not mine. And uh, seems to me, first attempt to find her should uh, come as a directive for me. Margaret, it, it, Lita just kind of looks down. I'm done giving orders. Call it My a suggestion. Got us into this. And Margaret looks up. We have very few resources at our disposal. Lita doesn't exactly have friends in the Republic, and nor do I. However, we do know what we're walking into. It's a political nightmare. Ever since the Paca left, there have been protests across the city. The government is holding it at bay. First Minister Voss is doing the best he can to keep a steady hand. But we're going to need allies. And ideally, we're going to need powerful ones. And Lita sort of laughs under her breath. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just get, like, the Rambles to help us. <laughs> and Margaret was sort of, wouldn't go to those blue bloods if you paid me. Can, can we hear the conversation that they're having? This is, all in the, this is all in the room, so if you want to hear the conversation, you can. This is all happening in the same place. Because I want to I wanna peek I, around when they mention <clears throat> the Rambles. Isn't T1? I'm sorry, what? Aaron Rample was his Terran name. In the tunnel. Right. I thought maybe I'd made that up or it was some craziness. You're no. saying you're really a Rample, son? Look, I don't know. All right? There's some name that someone put on me. I don't know what it is. What were your... What were your parents' names? I don't know. I don't have... My parents... Don't even remember. Ben or something? Eric? The Rample family. You really don't know where you come from? No. They're very well known here. They're like royalty. The Republic don't have kings now, but it used to. They're like the fathers. They don't have kings? No. No, we have representative government, bureaucracy. It's very large. It's very complicated. Top of it's a man named Voss. He's the first minister of the planet. Oh, all right. Um. But the Ramples, they used to be kings. And Lita looks at her. And queens. And princes. Wait, you mean... I'm related to the king? No, there, there is no king anymore. Well, well, okay, but, okay, wait, okay, wait. So, 
there are no more kings and, and queens, which, you know, now we have, I have a queen, I'm getting used to that. But you're saying that I'm related to the king himself because I'm a ramble? There, there is no king. Yeah, there's a king. No. Yeah. Not. That, I mean, every Terran should know this. It's the king. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, you know what? You idiot. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Elvis is a king. <laughs> no. And then he had, you know, his son, Beaver King. You know, Billy <laughs> Jean King. Um, you know, uh, okay. Coretta Scott King. There okay. were a lot of kings, you know? And, and that's... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. And, uh, every Terran, every Terran, including, uh, including Lee, Marcus up in the front, <laughs> are now staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> like they have, they're like, what now, hold does on. this guy think is I, going on? I know, you th I know what that, but I know you heard of him, right? Because I have a dream. That one day, I mean, Martin Luther King, King his son of Elvis. We all know, right? That's a thing, right? I, I, I. He's a ramble. Yeah. <laughs> he, him. Yeah, I'm getting that. <laughs> Did I say something? Wow. Uh, okay. Um. So, Elvis was a singer of some renown. It was an honorific title that didn't mean anything. He wasn't an actual king. <laughs> I don't and, know where that came from. And, <coughs> and um, Billie Jean King? Yeah. Martin Luther King? Yeah. It's their, their last name. That's their, their family name. Right, King. Lu Elvis, okay. Lucy Bard, Margaret. North. Uh -huh. Kayla Torvis. Okay. Torvis is my family name. Noble Defender, right. Okay, yeah. Doesn't mean you're actually a king if your last name is King. Your, your name is a description. Our names, they're, they're just names. They're just identifiers. To show oh. you what clan you belong to. Oh. Don't tell him that. Is he okay? Is he gonna be? Is he gonna be? Okay? And as and as he starts to like pass out forward and kind of freak out, uh, proximity alarms start to go off uh -oh. all around the uh, uh, all around the uh, place. Uh -oh. Hold on, Magnus, what's going on? That is not going. Uh, on. we um, <laughs> hold on, everybody. I believe we have some kind of debris falling from the sky. <laughs> Either this is the strangest weather pattern I've ever ha seen, or we've got a problem in orbit. Everybody, hold on to your seats. Shove it, shove it. Um, the plane suddenly banks to avoid the path of escape pods. Uh, you can see them through the windshield and through the doors Do we falling down them from the Avalon. Yes, you recognize them as the Avalon's escape pods. Those are from the Avalon. What, what's the Avalon? <laughs> That's the ship we came in on. Well, it was being retro. Those are all from the that, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Uh oh, do we have do we have comms? Like, would Nidar be in range for comms? Am I can Corden step in here? Uh, yeah, th this is all definitely something that you can try. So, um, I uh, start. Let's start with the concordance because that's an interesting idea. Uh, concord. Though you're also in a real. You just like got your mind blown and are kind of freaking. Oh, out. that's true. <laughs> so, Percep perception, perception, listen. Yeah, perception, listen. I will say this, proximity warning, death, I wake up. Okay, so uh, for that then, uh, roll he's, a composure. He's, he's a soldier. Roll a composure check. Okay. Composure. That's a 10. Got it. Sure. <laughs> I feel like now we have to give Kayla like a, like a squirrel friend. Oh, yeah. Like... <laughs> that would freak me out. Mm. Not having it? Uh, six. Is the squirrel girl of Terra just like, what's up? Six. Yeah, you're not quite there yet. Like, you do snap to attention, but yeah. you're not, like, hitting concordance right away. Eleven. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you reach out um, and can feel in the uh, in the pods uh, many life signs and, like, um, uh, sort of space-time fluctuations that you are familiar with. 
the one that you are absolutely, you would go anywhere. Nidar is in one of those pods. Do, do I have a comm? Do yes. Okay. Nidar, what's going on? Have we crashed already? Or no, you are heading past flying. the plane now. You'll be crashing in just a moment. <laughs> Nidar, we're, 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 in, right we're, in, we're in the aircraft that you're falling Landing. by. What's going on? Like, oh, I see you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What happened on the and my Avalon? Little why, ways. Is, uh, why did you need to escape? Uh, Takai, we have a slight problem on the Avalon. Can we all hear this? And then as uh, as he says, we have a slight problem on the Avalon, the ship smashes down into the, the, the escape pod, uh, crashes down into the water, uh, bracing itself with a force field, um, allowing it to land safely. Uh, in the water and sort of float up, to, up the, to, to, the to the surface. <clears throat> Basically, you've uh, you've inserted into the planet, but you've done so totally safely. Me uh, you and uh, uh, Yidris are fine. Can, I, can we hear this communication? It's yes. Not, okay. Magnus, aim for retrieval, please. Absolutely. It's why I got a why I got a water plane, and uh, he starts to you know take it down to get it down to, to pick you up. Uh, pretty quickly, uh, the uh, ship lands uh, near the escape pod and uh, opens up the back, uh, revealing essentially a, a, you know, an area behind those seats that the uh, Bard, that Bard of North were in, uh, where, Mark, where Mark is actually like, pulls essentially a big grappling hook and like, launches it at the thing, hooks it on, and reels it in. Magnus. Yes, did I say Marcus? Yeah. Oops. Is it just one escape pod or is it all of them? Um, it is just one of them. The others landed in other places around well, the sea. It. Okay. Um, yeah, I directed to go specifically to the first. <laughs> but those, but they can once they're there, they can operate like little boats. Like they're not stranded there. Okay. Um. So he uh, he pulls you in. It pulls open the escape pod, uh, scorched from Atmo, and uh, the, you know, using sort of a large like mechanism so he doesn't have to touch it unlocks the thing, opens the door, and there are Nidar and a young Kirei officer. Uh, Nidar! Yeah, weird brain in a jar. Uh, <laughs> Nidar, um, uh, two older Terran women, one much older than the other that you've never met, and then a third Terran woman uh, who is looking at you like she's seen a brain in a jar. <laughs> so, I was talking to Taka, right? So. What? Uh, oh yeah, I'm there too, yeah. Taka. Uh, Margaret, Margaret uh, takes you for a second and uh, and says, "It's what's called a mind, dear. They they're used by the brightest eye. They're like the limbs, vassal races, slaves." Okay, not anymore. <laughs> uh, and you are? My name is Nidar, the Mind. Pleased uh, to meet you. He's our science officer. He came with us sure. from the brightest eye ship, the Screaming Valor. Uh, nice to meet you as well. Uh, who's who's with you? Um, Have I ever seen a Kirei either? Uh, oh, that's a good probably once or twice. They come to they come to Terra relatively often. Her name is Idris, and she is an officer on our ship. Have we would, lower lower would, level officer? Would Noble and I have met her before? Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, here and there. Probably. Uh, what's her name again? Yidris. 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 Come on, get up here. Nadar, Not report. My, my little, I have a little lamb that reaches little out and does a bump. Yeah. And I bump to Ka, high five. So, as I was saying, while we were landing, we have a slight problem on the ship. Escape pods are never good. <laughs> Ever. Yes, well, we um, encountered some issues with the uh, Paka crew that were helping us, and they have essentially taken over the ship and started. What? Wait, the Terrans. The Terrans, Terrans are taking over Terrans the ship. Terrans are taking over the ship. Terrans. And uh, we're going to uh, probably kill me and at least capture everyone else on the ship. So I escaped with the few that were with me in my vicinity, and now we are here. Do you know what happened to the rest of your crew? I don't know. I hope S they're okay. Excuse me, but all that's sort of to Idris. Where's Captain Bard? She's been captured. So yeah. By the Terrans. We don't have such good news for you either. <sighs> this is Margaret North, Lucy's grandmother, Lita Bard, her mother. Uh, we lost Captain Bard during an escape. Um, lost Captain Bard? She's, well, Not good. she's been kidnapped. We're going to get her back. By a monster. There's a lot of kidnapping going on. 
right now. Seems to be the order of the day, yeah. Margaret, Lita, we're headed to the Republic Center, right? Okay. That's correct. Journeyman's Rest is our capital. You think that's where they took him? If I was them. Well, your odds of finding your daughter just improved with this guy right here. It's true. What are your, what's your particular skill set, sir? Well, he's a thinker. I <laughs> <laughs> likes to. I, I'm asking that's him. That's a good, but yes. I think uh, Noble Defender is putting it correctly. I use my mind, my brain, and I. And those are my main qualities. For, for what purpose? For finding information, for control, if needed. But I can help you find our captain. I assume it goes without saying that mind control over anyone in this plane is off limits to those such as yourself. Oh. It might come in handy with that Victor Rample fellow, though. Yeah, I'm concerned about myself yeah. and Margaret <laughs> and Lita. Um, I assure you that everyone in this plane will be safe from my mental probing. Mark, Margaret, Lita. Lucy has been <coughs> named friend of Bryce Dye for what she did for all of us. We will get her back. The brightest eye will help see through it. I appreciate that. Is the... But I... That means the three of you right now. And Kayla. And the two of us. And I'm not going to be any good to you out there. And Lita. She's just got a giant target on her back. But we're going to need you. We're going to need allies. Well, now's the time for me to ask if I have any allies that I know of to go talk to. All right, Kayla, go ahead and roll four. Mm. Uh, this is a uh, contacts check, basically, mm. um, which is like a contacts. Sort of like a socialized check. It's basically, it's like a streetwise check, I guess. Mm. Um, so this is your streetwise, your presence, your. Or fly <laughs> and your politics. It's not gonna be a good roll. Seven. Mm. Okay. <laughs> With the understanding that like Magnus is your Jesus. Is wow. the context you've already pulled mm. in. So clearly my rolls of awesomeness are continuing. Um that's like a negative two. Wow. No. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So no. it's been oh, it's been uh, ages since you've one. been to Journey. Oh, sorry, rest. negative one. It's been ages since you've been to Journey this rest. Like literally forever since you've been there. Um, you have very little by way of, of connections. Um, but so they, we all sort of there's all sort of a sense of like you know Lita doesn't really have a lot of friends. Margaret doesn't really have a lot of friends. You don't really have a lot of friends. So without those in place, uh, Margaret kind of looks to noble. I feel like I'm about to have to eat my words, but... Don't do that. <laughs> it's a metaphor, honey. It means it's not real. Oh, okay. I think we might need to go visit your family. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and as uh, Magnus sets the plane to head back to Journeyman's Rest with the hope of connecting with more powerful allies, we cut to Lucy Bard. Hey, that sort of implies I'm not dead. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you're having a And then a I was just going to invite you, ignore you, and then uh, not dead, and we'd not like dead, never do anything. It'd be great. That sounds like me. She says she's not dead yet. She's not quite dead yet. Not quite dead. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Only partially dead. Right. Only better. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
you wake up uh, as you are being carried out of the transport. Uh, two armed guards have your arms. You've been physically sedated. Uh, for a very brief time that you're outside, you see a city uh, nearby. In the, you know, few few miles away. Bright, hard to focus, uh, but you know this city anywhere. Uh, it is Journeyman's Rest. Beautiful spires that defy anything human engineering could produce even now. As the city was largely built by the Paka. You enter the building, you enter the building uh, via a back door and are being led through the basement levels. Your captor, Colonel Victor Ramble, personally escorts you. He notices that you're awake. He's, 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 or he, he doesn't notice you're awake, he's just ahead of you as you're being carried down this corridor. Everyone is in uniform? Yes, all Terran Republic. Any distinguishing markings for this hallway? Roll perception. That is 15. Five. Okay. Uh, you see uh, numbers on each of the doors. Uh, these are all cells. Hmm. Uh, this is some manner of like official government prison. They're all armed, I assume? Yes. And um. there are armed guards at most of the doors as well as you pass. I'm not going to let on that I'm awake. I, my, the physical sedation would prevent any sort of run for it, I assume. Short of a, like, incredibly high composure check. If you wanted to try for it, you could. But it, it, it's, a, it's a very high threshold. If I can try. <laughs> you know me. I hate saying no to my players. Uh, give me a composure check. You have a really high composure, so oh. you never you know. You said the magic word. I know. Mm. 20, is it still 22? Um, I have it at 19. What was the 22? That is a thing I wrote down on my sheet. <laughs> I'm not sure what that would have been bolstered from. Okay. I have it at 19. Cool. So let's call it 19. Hmm. That's a lot of twos <laughs> and other, so many sixes. Six is sixes. the devil. They are. Uh, the very worst. That's funny, that. Uh, speaking of which, I got six. Okay, uh, you try to move, uh, but you find that you just can't. The uh, Whatever they've doped you up with is pretty heavy. Uh, you are uh, taken into a interrogation room. Uh, the door opens, you are pulled in. Uh, it's a bare room. Dark on all sides, small metal table at the center, which is bolted to the floor. You are put into a chair. They're chained uh, to the act, like to the chair itself with old school like physical chains. Mm. Uh, you are held there in shackles, uh, and the two guards leave, leaving uh, Victor Rample in the room for one moment. Uh, do you let on that you're awake? If they didn't notice when I struggled earlier, then no. I'll okay. He looks at you, walks around to you, checks one arm, secure, checks the other, secure. Looks up to the corner, which doesn't appear to have a camera in it, but he looks up to the corner anyway. Send him in, and walks to the door and closes it, leaving you alone in the room. Playing dead for now. 
But if I can sneak my eyes open enough to just be observing the room, if there's any, like, it's just bare of... There's nothing beyond what you've already indicated. And that's when... Isaac Sebastian enters the room. Isaac is, let's say, nondescript. Uh, he looks like most Terrans. He's um, uh, not of a specific sort of cultural descent that you can take a clock crack at. Um, he has a angled face, not a lot of fat on him, very precise. Smart eyes. Cutting. He walks in. Sits down in front of you. I know you're awake. He has a folder. He puts it in front of him. I know you're awake. I'd prefer that you please level with me. Captain Bard. Hello. Any reason I should? Captain. Really, there's no reason you shouldn't. My name is Agent Sebastian. I'd like to talk to you about your involvement with the PACA. Would that be all right? Agent of whom? Oh, the Terran Republic. Your people. Some welcome. Well, we required your cooperation. I'm afraid my, my friend Victor is a little overzealous. I apologize, he is a ramble. They tend to get entitled about things. I hope I'll be of, perhaps a, I hope perhaps I'll be a little easier to talk to. I lift my arms. These going anywhere? If I know I can trust you, yes. Unfortunately, the last time that we allowed you to do as you wished, many Terran Republic soldiers were killed. Whose fault was that? Captain, I feel like we're already getting off on the wrong foot. Your feelings on this matter are fully irrelevant. You may be from Avalon, but you are a citizen of the Republic as a Terran and are, uh, by extension of your service to the Paka, a member of its military. You swore an allegiance to us when you first came here and used our facilities, our military, our social structures to find your place among the Paka Peacekeep. Now, we require something of you in return. So your bruised sense of morality is not my concern. You have damaged the Republic and what it stands for, and now we require your cooperation. You blew up my home. No, that was Victor. I apologize for that again. It, easier had you simply come with us. The necessary destruction would have been well, unnecessary, but... Your failure to give me better choices is not my fault. I disagree. And, uh, he, uh, sort of snaps, and a force field pulls over you. Further locking you down to the chair. Paka may be gone, but they left many useful tools behind. In case it is unclear, you are going to do what we want, whether you like it or not. You see something in the file that indicates that's likely? Captain, what I see in your file is someone who believes in what's right. What I see in your file is someone willing to stand up against 
disunity and corruption wherever it might take hold. What I see in your file is a woman who does not put the interests of herself in front of the interests of others and who would gladly see her home burn if it meant a if it meant that many other homes did not. I'm afraid you've been gone for quite some time and perhaps do not understand the gravity of our situation. Enlighten me. Our streets are filled with protesters. Our government is less than capable of answering the sheer number of questions that have been presented to us in the wake of your actions with the Pakha. Because of what you have done, you have sent a great deal of people to their doom. You've sent many communities into squalor or military rule. You have created a rift between the Terran Republic and its people that is nothing short of an injury to your entire species. We are not so different, you and I. I serve my people as best I can, you serve your people as best you can, and yet whatever compelled you to tell this lie has... Oh, you looked smart. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> roll a resolve check mm -hmm. for me. Uh, I don't know that we've built you one of these before, have we? I don't think so. We don't have it written down. Cool. Why is Crack Mary? Why is Crack Mary? Do one. This is the wise Crack Mary. This is essentially a mental defense check. Okay. still showing up in abundance. They can leave any time. Jesus. Two. Uh, you say that and he looks at you and uh, his hand sort of swipes across the metal table, revealing a previously unseen high-tech HUD interface. He presses a small button on the interface, and the uh, air around you changes color. Uh, as you breathe in the air inside of the force field, uh, you find yourself becoming a little dizzy, a little less sharp. It's um, before your faculties are like fully away from you, it's, it's clear like this is some manner of chemical designed to make you more susceptible to suggestion. <laughs> Captain, I have all the intelligence I am afraid that you have been through some manner of psychotic break, wherein you have convinced yourself that you are some kind of savior figure who discovered a truth at the heart of the Pakha and told the world. When in fact, all of the evidence 
and intelligence that we have collected indicate that you stole Pakha's secrets from one of their secure bases and sold them to the Siren for, as far as I can tell, military aid for one of our enemies. Any suggestion that you did this for noble cause, perhaps you would understand my lack of belief. <laughs> and without hard evidence, I believe it is my duty to bring you back into the fold. To let you remember where you come from. That the Terran Republic loves you and wants you to do well. We want you to succeed. But as long as you sustain your lie, we cannot. What precisely is this gas doing to me? Right now, it's just, um, basically, as he's saying, maybe your memories aren't your memories, this gas is doing just enough work on those memories to make you see them foggy, to be to recall less detail, to uh, to open your mind to the suggestion that perhaps you are wrong. What are you doing to me? Oh, Captain, I'm doing nothing to you. Rack is a lie. In case you needed reminding what one looks like. Roll resolve check. <laughs> I remind you of your willpower. Mm. Not saying you should use it or have to use it, but I like to do this in times of stress for characters. Mm. I've got my full seven, yeah? You do. We'll dump three in there. Mm. I can see the cigarette smoking as he stands there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Music. Uh, totally. Right? Mm. <laughs> there we go. Uh, was that one of mine? I don't think that was one of mine. Oh, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about nine? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So, he also rolled nine. Ooh. With more of a bolster than his last check. But guess what? Who do ties go to? Mm. So, uh, you lean forward, holding your memories in place as firmly as you can, mm -hmm. even as moments like... The events are fuzzy, but good idea is clear, and fractal bright is clear. There you go. I would like to assure you that I do not want to do this. I have the utmost respect for your service and for all that you have done before your unfortunate shift from reality. But sometimes things are required of us. I hope in our many years of working together from here on out, you will someday forgive this. Whoa. And he presses a button and your chair electrifies. <sighs> um, go ahead and roll your defense check. Please. Oh my God. Damn. That's a five, I think. Three? Uh, that is a three. Yes. Why did I have a five down there? Whatever. She did a tough mutter course. This is fine. She can do it. It's fine. Mm. A little tickle. It's okay. just a little tickle. Oh. Crits do count on you defense. Have, you have combat awareness. <coughs> defense counts too. That's correct. 
I do have combat awareness. Combat awareness, doesn't it add two? Uh, yeah, normally in a combat scenario. This okay. is a combat scenario. There's no oh. tied to chair awareness? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, three out of three. Wow. Ooh. All right. Um, so uh, he also checked at a three. Jeez. Uh, uh, defenders. God. You are electrified, but don't let it move you. <laughs> and, like, you keep eye contact with this dude. Oh. Good luck with that forgiveness thing. <laughs> he stands up. I'm so disappointed. And he walks out of the room. Leaving you alone. How After terribly him. sad. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Wow. <laughs> Where is it? Come on now. There we go. Magnus's plan. A uh, plane lands on a runway at the airport near Journeyman's West. Let's try that again. <laughs> Magnus's plane lands on a runway at the airport near Journeyman's Rest. Nidar, Kayla, Taka, and Noble Defender, you, Lita, and Margaret disembark the plane and find yourselves on a tarmac, uh, staring down an incredible futuristic limousine. <laughs> a driver waits outside of the limousine for you patiently. Uh, perception? Oh, yeah, perception lets me. Sure. Um, all right. Are you doing a perception check as well, Caleb? Uh, well, yeah. Cool. I'm speaking for myself, but then oh, side-eyeing okay, yeah, her, because... Yeah. 16. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one's rolling. I'm just going to analyze what that thing is. What was that? I'm gonna analyze what the hell that thing is. Since they're rolling for go Sure, through. go for it. Yeah, it's something you can uh, drive. This is a <laughs> concordance well, check. Out. <laughs> concordance check for eleven. Cool. It's nice. Your concordance and your perception are the same check, so I don't really need to figure out which one to roll. Uh, right now they're it. just they're both elevens. Until until you bolster one of those, I'm 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 in a beautiful boat. That's an eight. Nice. And eleven. Okay. Ooh. Uh so and what do you get? <laughs> I got a one. All right. You have no <laughs> you idea what it's that is. It's an animal. Is. You've never seen anything like it. It's way it's too long to be a truck. You just learned what a truck is. <laughs> um, That's fair. So uh, it's way too long to be a truck. Um, uh, and you've never seen the uniform of the person there. It's, it's all white. They're just like all in white. A little white cat. Uh, so they look at you. Uh, as you walk down, uh, you check this person out. Uh, they are uh, not armed. Uh, female, uh, like middle age, uh, they seem to be like well groomed, their uniform is really nicely pressed, and the limousine itself uh, is white with some like gold and red trim around it. You know enough to know that white, gold, and red are colors that are often used by the Ramble family going all the way back to, you know, like royalty days. Does uh, it's it's a pretty easy check. What's up? Well, I'm just saying, does my eye let me yeah. see like anything inside? Sure. Or so the uh, so uh, your eye starts to I, I, for anybody who hasn't caught it yet, uh, Kayla Torvis has a dope cybernetic eye. Uh, oh. Your dope cybernetic eye uh, <laughs> goes into the actual like limousine itself and checks it out. There are no bombs on the limousine. Ooh. There are no explosives mm. of any kind. Doesn't seem to be a trap. There are no listening devices in the limousine. Um, it seems like this place has actually been like checked out. What there are, are three bottles of your favorite whiskey. Like, uh, like set specifically there for you. Oh. Uh, this person is, has uh, had a, uh, a hard but good life. They work for a family they really respect. They are well taken care of and well paid. Mm. And they are here for Kayla Torres. <laughs> They're here for you. What? The vehicle's clean. Kyle, is that true? Identify yourself. Kayla Torvis, I'm here to escort you and your party into the city. I identify yourself, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the driver. You can call me Mary. 
Mary, where are you hoping to take us? I have uh, strict instructions. Uh, yes, we were we were raised, uh, or uh, we we had a comms raised by uh, someone in your party. We believe that uh, you are looking for uh, the. I believe my employers are uh, of interest to you, and you are of interest <coughs> to my employers. Please. Here. Mary, let's let's cut to the chase here. I've been around a long time. These are Rample colors. You work for the Ramples. My concern <laughs> is not that specifically. It's that the last Ramble I met <coughs> tried to kill us. <laughs> Victor Ramble? Yes. He's not with us. Well, you'll have to forgive me for not taking your assurance. I have a, I'm a mite suspicious. Understood. My employers will inform you of everything when you get to the destination. I any proof that I could provide would, I am afraid, not be as would not be enough to sway you. Excuse me, Mary. My name is Noble Defender, ambassador of the Brass Staff. I have a question for you. Are you? The Mary? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. No. The, no. the Mary? Hold on. No, no, the Noble. I, I know what you're asking. Not right now. I will explain it to you later. I promise. I've heard of I, him. I, I, her. He has a little lamb. Her. I will explain it to you later. Oh. Okay? Like the song? Just, just <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> just stop talking. Okay. Okay. No. I'm, that's not me. Mary. Yes? <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's okay. Mary, he, he looks Terran. He's never set foot on Terra before about mm, several hours ago. Understood. Uh, I can work with that. I've ferried many <laughs> aliens uh, to and from the residence. But I believe he's also a member of the family that you serve, in a way. His uh, name is Rample. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you to get in the car immediately. Sir, please, what? in the car right away. Okay. Oh. Hold on. No, uh, we cannot have a ramble in open area right now. This is a very bad thing. Um, my mm. employers do not know this. It is imperative that I get you to the residence straight away, Mr. Ramble. Margaret, please. Margaret, I'm Lita. Ramble. I want you to stay here. And Margaret and Lita look at each other. We can go to ground. Can I? Do we have a way to communicate? Uh, yeah. Uh, she'll uh, she'll throw you a, essentially the equivalent of like a cell phone. Okay. Like a normal communication device. I'll keep you apprised, and you know I'll do everything I can. We'll, uh, we'll stay with your friend in his plane. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna open the door to the, uh, limousine, grab one of the bottles, and leave it with them. <laughs> Margaret looks at it. I haven't seen a bottle like this since I was a girl. It's my favorite. I don't blame you. <laughs> we'll be back. I can't force either of you to come with, or any of you to come with me. But. I feel like we have no choice but to follow you. We're trying to get our captain back. Stay alert. Always. Let's go, Noble. I'm gonna sit in the front. Okay, oh. let's go. The rest of you get in the back? Yes. This is gonna take us to Lucy? I, I, we don't we know. We hope so. All right, whatever. <laughs> the stay alert, Noble Defender. What was that? I was saying, stay, stay, stay alert, alert, Noble oh, Defender. Got it. Always do. The limo pulls out of the airport and onto a massive stretch of 20-lane highway running through storybook-quality rolling hills. Oh. Can I? I, I wanted to <laughs> ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have, because like. we have the QA with us too, right? Mm -hmm. Do either of you have any bomb-making capabilities? Whoa, bomb! <laughs> I, I, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, ask I'm, my I'm not arm. talking to you. I'm talking to Nidar and. Uh, I am proficient in all manner of explosives development. I am prefer, uh, of course, uh, non-explosive pharmaceutical uh, explosions. I am excellent at uh, all manner of those. But if need be, I can. Uh, I can provide the specifications for larger scale explosive devices. I'm not Ooh. looking for something. I advise you. They are not very good at making friends. <laughs> that is all right. Do you remember what happened the last time you used a tra tranquilizer? Yes. It was not successful. <laughs> yes. We're not probably doing that again. Understood. 
It's my understanding you're the tactical officer. Yes. All right. So if we find your captain, you're undoubtedly going to come up against Victor Rample again. Uh, did not go well last time, to say the least. Trying, I've been trying to think of what we could use to our advantage. And the only thing I could come up with, I've seen him before, but I, I don't have the skill. They're about this big, but they pack a powerful punch. And best of all, they stick where you put them. So a magnetized small, or magnetized compact explosive. Essentially. Oh, like a Queen Night Bomb! Maybe. I <laughs> would also Queen recommend Night. perhaps Maybe. utilizing NIDAR. That's why, that's why I ask what y'all could offer, because I think they would come in rather useful should we meet again, which seems inevitable at this point. I'll, I will again ask the arm. <laughs> would you be able to make a small but powerful explosive that would adhere to the person who returned our tranquilizer dart? Multiple okay. would be preferred. Oh, what you were suggesting is some manner of swarm ball. Yes, oh. I could do that. I, of course, can only provide the necessary uh, the necessary blueprints, it would be uh, on more full-bodied uh, characters, <laughs> more more full-bodied people to actually create the device itself. I imagine where we're going, they may have some of those capabilities. Mm -hmm. All right, Nidar, do you have any thoughts here? I have nothing on me, what? but... But you could control him if need be, But I could control, yes. But nothing How sure are you of that? He's not like any other Terran I've m ever met, and I'm me, so... I'm well, if there are other people around him, I could control them too, if it doesn't work on him specifically. Do you need anything? Do you require anything special? I do uh, not require anything special to do that. All right. Yidris? Yes? Should we be able to get the supplies? Can you take the specifications and create what we're looking for? I'll need materials, certainly. Uh, sure. But, but yes, I, 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 I aced my mechanics finals. <laughs> Have you ever actually done it, anything like this before? No, bomb making isn't really my specialty. <laughs> what is? I mean, I'm a, I, I build radars. I've been pretty good at scanners. I've analyzed a lot of data. I'm excellent at data analysis. If we could scan what Victor Rample is made of, perhaps we could figure out what his weak spot is. Mm. Mm. All right. All right. Actu I just want actually I just... to the arm. Do you have scanners? <laughs> uh, I don't believe it does. Let me check. Check. No, I don't believe it does. Going uh, in. No, I do not. <laughs> in, the last, in the last game I said I was recording, can I analyze a playback of how he moved and everything? Sure, yeah. Okay. Um, what would I roll for that? You want to do that now? Well, I mean, I'm in a limo and we're all talking with Victor <laughs> Rample, so... Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, go for oh, yeah, it. You could play it for her. She might be able to analyze uh, This it. is a, an That's analysis one thing, check. Yeah. One thing about Brad's side, you study the enemy, you play it back, you record, see how their weaknesses mm. are. Presence. Would I have a role that would help, that would like help me look at this too? Uh, well, right now, because it's on his oh, and he doesn't okay. have a display of it. Okay. That's why I was asking if you want to do it now or if you want to do it. Because if you do it later, you could, like, do it with everybody. But if you want to do it now, you're just doing it yourself. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so it's intelligence, academics. Are you telling me you have a recording of the... Ranged combat. What? Are you telling me you have a <laughs> recording of the situation in the tunnel? Yeah, of course. Combat awareness. Can I see that? Yes. My whole new horses. <laughs> we'll do that later. Promise you I will. 19. Wow. <laughs> Ta it, it, this is specifically for tactical analysis. So you're like, because you're pretty good at combat. So tactical analysis is something you're halfway decent at. We, uh, I'll wait. You sort of see him go into like a fugue state. His eyes roll into the back. All right, while we're waiting for that. <laughs> Oh, um, uh, actually, while while that goes on, I'm gonna move you guys forward. Oh, okay. Um, 
The driver, as uh, you get, uh, as you head towards the city, uh, takes his hand, uh, takes her hands off the wheel as the automated systems kick in, and the vehicle accelerates well past 200 miles an hour. Ooh. Within minutes, you see it. Journeyman's Rest, a sprawling expanse of shifting, twisting pyres, or spires, uh, the ultimate city of the future. And as the highway sweeps you into the city, the buildings seem to grow around you. The bright skyscrapers are made even brighter by the dazzling holographic signage. For those of you visiting for the first time, it may be a bit overwhelming. Uh, think the architecture of Dubai with like the population density of Manhattan. It's a, uh, it's a incredible site. Uh, right now it's uh, nearing towards sunset, so there are, uh, uh, the whole place is sort of uh, bathed in a radiant red and yellow glow. How'd you do on that? I got a six. Okay, so you start to replay it back. Um, things that you can recognize immediately about Victor Ramp, because you don't get much, but here's what you can get. Uh, he is uh, generally unafraid and willing to put himself in front of danger. He like happily took bullets, he happily took Oof. energy pulses, anything he could take, he could take, uh, because his body seems to rebuild itself uh, from scratch every time, uh, which means that a good portion of his body seems to be governed not by biology now, but by technology, meaning that he can be hacked, presumably. Hmm. Um, the other thing that you sort of notice about him is that he is, that, that unafraid nature from a tactical perspective makes him incredibly brazen. He will happily blow away a house to get a person, right? <laughs> so there's, he, he's not really a like, um, very like targeted or tactical guy. Uh, shoot he's, first, ask questions. Yeah, he's Got a it. very shoot first, ask questions, military. Yeah. You've seen guys like him. You were trained by guys like him. Got it. Uh, they didn't look anything like him, but you know the type. Uh, you've never been able to be one of those. You've always had to think on your feet, think you know in the cockpit. That's why you became a pilot. Uh, but you know these bigger, tankier, brightest eye, even the smart ones, like at Farm World, mm -hmm. could just throw themselves into combat. You know what I mean? In a I mean, way, it's kind of like could. Viz, really. Yeah, it's kind of like Viz, really. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, certainly Viz pre uh, Queenage. Pre Queenage. Mm -hmm. uh, the I, limo pulls off the. Can we assume you shared that with us? Yeah, I mean, okay. we can, we'll check it out later on a big screen, but yeah, that's what I got now. <laughs> the limo pulls off the highway near what looks like a large city park. Uh, the driver turns to you. There it is. Advent Manor, Rample Family Estate. Uh, and you pull in. It's not a house, it's a castle. The city park uh, is actually the private grounds of the manor. It's the sort of estate you'd find in the English countryside, once belonging to a wealthy arist aristocratic family, except it's in the middle of the largest and densest city that humans have ever built. Its architecture is a mix of old Europe and new Terra. It would be impressive if not for the angry mob of protesters gathered out front. The driver takes the wheel as the limo approaches the estate. Mary, what's, what's that about? The city has been at some unrest since the uh, hawk ha left. The Ramples uh, are blamed for some of it, the government blamed for others. No one really knows where to put their blame. Blame the Pac Ha. Blame They're the ones who lie. Blame for what? For the unrest? For the... For the disappearance of, well, our guides. This whole city was built because of the way the Pac Ha taught us. I mean, they built the city. Been a little tough for us since. The driver. Uh, you say that Terrans can't think for themselves. That's common. The driver passes? retakes the wheel as the limo approaches the state. She pulls uh, onto a side street and into a nondescript garage. The door shuts, and moments later, the floor buckles and begins to descend. The car then lowers into a tunnel beneath the ground and winds its way across a few corners, then stops at a nondescript double door. All the doors open in the limo open simultaneously, as does the double door. Hmm. All right, well, <laughs> taking one of the bottles with me, Kay. the other one, <laughs> I expect that to be there when I come back. I don't drink. I don't. <laughs> where, where does this door go? My employer will meet you. Uh, there's an elevator just beyond. That's not the answer to my question, Mary. It heads into the estate. Right, what part of the estate? I want to know where I'm going to end up. Ah, uh, it should uh, re lead you right into the uh, the residence. Uh, my employer will be meeting you there. The Rample residence, this Rample? Yes. Okay, Um. look, I'm gonna need a sec. 
No, no, just come. Noble, we don't, we yeah. don't, we yeah. don't have a second. So Noble and Nidor head down the corridor <laughs> for a private conversation. Noble Defender, look, like look, 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 you seem at a little stressed out. You think? Okay, <laughs> sorry, too loud, too loud. Look, is there anything I can do? Maybe, Nidor, look, let me help. Calm you down somehow. The concordance. I can't. I can't reach. I can't reach my father. I want to talk to my father real quick. I need to talk to him real quick. Okay. It's not working. Can you boost the signal? Can I maybe psychically link them somehow? Or there, Look, you can a... try. It's hard, but you can try. Because I can't. I probably can't just boost the signal. No. It would be a no. It would be a, no, be, be a, it would be a telepathy. All right. Let's try. It. Check. So nineteen. Because he looks like he's freaking out. Yep. Nineteen. Thirteen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <coughs> yeah. Uh, you're, you still have essentially an uplink that, uh, like, it, it, it's a, it's sort of on a, it's generally on a delay, but when you link it with the concordance through the magic of telepathy and, I mean, I'm, I'm going to skirt all kinds of science right now, uh, you're able to get um, a short uh Link like not a very long conversation, but you can probably manage a short conversation uh, with the brightest eye fathers. All right. uh, specifically what the is father the seven. speed of thought? Uh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's exactly exactly. Wow. I I'm gonna I'm gonna hide behind that justification. <laughs> for this. That's we great. don't know the speed we don't know of thought. It it's cool. So, okay, so I'm like my little tendril comes out. We actually out, right? do. It's 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 determined by speed of light because of neurons and stuff. But you know whatever. Um, <laughs> So, There's an ansible. Go yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I got a little tendril that comes out. Um, so his, like, yeah, his tendrils no, sort of map to your brain mind. and map to your concordance. <laughs> and for a moment, your mind is just sort of like under uh, under crazy uh, stuff. And then you find yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. You hear the familiar tones of the brightest eye concordance. And then the face of your father. Noble defender. Father. My son, you are troubled. I am. I want to, um, I'm sorry to have to be like this, but I, um, I think I might know where I'm going to come from. I'm going to meet my other family. And I just, I don't want to seem ungrateful. about meeting them and wanting to meet them. I thank you for everything you've done for me. And I wouldn't be here without you. But uh, please, is it all right if I find out who my family is? I, I do want to know. But I uh, wanted to talk to you first. My child. We raised you among us and counted you among us because we could not raise you among your own. Because we could not return you to your own. Not out of cruelty. Not because we wanted to keep this from you. When your
ignore when your sister first came to us in her form as our queen. The mother held sway over the concordance. And so I saw her not with the eyes of a father. I have since come to know how wrong I was. I have since come to see that having a child is not having control over that child, but seeing them thrive. You are not ungrateful. You are my son. Thank you. Go, discover, and then bring it back to me. Oh. And the signal fades away, <laughs> leaving you back in the long hallway with the limousine. <laughs> he was Down the very way, you uncomfortable. Can see Noble has started to cry. You didn't hear any of the words. Takao's going to perception check for Buddy. Okay. To make sure he's Niner's okay. got the little tendrils to come out and give him a little hug. <laughs> okay, no, you know what? <laughs> I'm pouring him a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Down the hatch. All of it. Quick, quick. All of it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, it still hurts. Give it back. You are a little drunk now. <laughs> yes. Uh, eight. Trust me, best Ooh. thing you could be in this situation. Eight? Mm -hmm. Uh, He just went through a kind of profound emotional experience dealing with his father. He feels much better now and freed of uh, certain aspects of lifelong uh, uh, guilt about his curiosity about his origins. I'm going to go over and give him a hug not including the robot arm because that's weird. Nice. Uh, <laughs> with, but with uh, three other arms, so. And you go over, take the hug, and uh, head up to the... Well, wait, hold, wait, hold on. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, let's go. Okay. And as you head up to the elevator, uh, it opens... You get in, the elevator closes, and brings you up to a room. Uh, the doors open. It is a uh, uh, it's a pretty opulent space. Golds, reds, uh, carpets. It's kind of the uh, wouldn't be out of place in a, like a palatial estate now. Uh, though not gaudy. We're not talking like hmm. crazy chandeliers or anything. It's for even like statues or paintings. Of, there are some paintings of people, but like not, you know, not like crazy crazy. <laughs> uh, and as you, as the doors open, a middle-aged woman with glasses turns the corner. She walks straight towards you. Her eyes and a faint smile are aimed at Kayla Torvis. Uh, this is Vivian Ramble. Hmm. She's not one of the more famous Rambles. Um, you have uh, been in communication with her here and there throughout time, just because she's kind of the like cool one uh, of this family that is <laughs> sort of scattered to the far winds in terms of like the power structure in, in Terra. Um, so you've always known her to be kind of an intellectual and, uh, and a thought leader, but she doesn't participate in government. Kayla, it's good to see you. Didn't think it would be on my turf, but hey, life's funny that way. <laughs> I hope your journey went smoothly. Vivian, why the subterfuge? I'm in the current in the current situation. I mean, you know where we just came from. <laughs> oh, I know where you just came from. Heard you ran into Victor. I'm sorry about my brother. He's a bit of a oh, well, a motherfucker. 
I like to go with <laughs> warmongering dipshit, but <laughs> we each have our ways. Even better. Haven't liked that boy since he became a private in the military. Doesn't know how to take orders. And doesn't know how to give them. Just knows how to be a tool. I understand he's more machine than man now. Apparently, what do you know about it? All I know is he volunteered for every experiment they could put in front of him. Do you know who they were run, who the experiments were run by? Terran Republic. Voss has all kinds of interesting little shady holes. You have this large enough, uh, large enough uh, bureaucracy, and it's amazing where you can hide your secret projects. Before we go any further, I uh, have a request. Do you have, um, well, let's just say we'd like to make a small bomb. <laughs> really jumping right into it, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we've got a lot to talk about, but I'd like to task some crew to get stuff going. We don't have a whole lot of time to rescue their captain. Good, good. Yes, all right, so we're already on the same page. I was planning on presenting you with as much as I could to help your captain Bard out. They're already running news reports that she's preparing some kind of confession. I, uh... She would never do that. What? Never. Confession. From what I understand, that's the same. Uh, I believe we only have a small window of opportunity with which to rescue her from... Uh, well, do you know where she's being kept? Not as such. Well, you'll find out soon. I have, uh, I have uh, schematics. If you follow me into the observation chamber. I'm also going to perception listen well, her as we follow her to make sure. Sorry, schematics for what? Are... For the facility. My All people right. built. Ha uh, my, my people helped build half this uh, half this city with the Paka. We've. Uh, been part of the administration of the city for many years. We have many people in the libraries and <laughs> records. Uh, it's easy enough for me to pull schematics, and I did the same. All right, before we do that, can I send this, uh, I'm sorry, uh, cat person. I don't know the name <laughs> of your species. We're called Kire. Um, hi, my that name one. is Idris. That one. And, uh, Idris. Ah, yes. Can I send her with these specs? To wherever it is you have that supply. Soon my arm spat out some blueprints somehow. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like it, well, it, it, does, it does a hollow display. Okay. So it display blueprints. Um, you probably you probably need to take your hand. You just I need you. <laughs> okay. I guess I have three others. So you attach, you attach the hand, hand it to her. She takes it. Huh. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, 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 like essentially a, a butler rolls up. Make Take this nice young woman to the garage, say. And they're like, yeah, okay. Make, uh, as, I will need that make as many as you can, as quickly as you can. But before anything else, make sure one of them works. <laughs> uh, copy that. Quality over quantity here, but quantity would be nice. <clears throat> I'll do my very best. Keep in touch with NIDAR in case you need anything. Yes, sir. Uh, you. <laughs> and uh, this is as, as they're like stepping into the observation chamber. You know, uh, Taron. Can you bring him with us? Karen Grant. I'll be in charge of him for now. Oh, He'll be no. fine. He'll be fine in a couple, in an hour or so. But until then. Are you <laughs> referring to the movie star? Sure. But yeah. yes, why? Of course. You, s you sound like someone that knows Karen Grant. Is he a good guy? Uh, he's dead. What? <laughs> hey, Vivian. Oh my he's, God. He's a uh, he's had what? a bit uh, mm. too much to drink. <laughs> He'll be fine, but let's just go. Uh, actually, my driver called ahead. Mm. Look, I'm uncomfortable with the question, so I'm just gonna come out and say it before we get into it. You're the one going around calling yourself a ramble. I'm the one everyone's saying I'm a ramble. Oh, my timing was possibly not very good here. <laughs> Who's everyone? <laughs> what? Well, okay. I was on a planet. Ice went down, swam, fish blew them up. <coughs> and then ship, nursery. Oh, I'm afraid we do not have time for this kind of I, nonsense. Okay, so here's the thing. I have mm. I have his parents' name, actual name in my notes, but my notes are some not here. 
It's cool. But I would remember them, I think, wouldn't I? Ben and Erica. Ben and Erica. Ben and Erica. Ben and Erica. Rample. And I'm called Aaron Rample, and that stuff is really affecting me. And <laughs> Okay, listen, I'm going to stop you. Okay. Uh, I don't know a Ben or an Erica Rample. Uh, they were scientists. Yeah, I'm afraid I don't know them. Uh, we're a very large family, like very large. I'm afraid you maybe don't know exactly how large, but very large. <laughs> it, it's suffice to say, it's not really me that tends to keep track of this stuff, but I do know a person who could. Uh, I'm afraid you're a little intoxicated to be talking battle strategy anyway, so... Intoxicated? Uh, it means you're drunk, son. You intoxicated me? Uh, here. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm right James. here. <laughs> and uh, the butler shows back up. Yes, madam. Please take, uh, noble attendant. Please take noble defender. the noble defender here. Uh, right. Aaron, is it? Uh, please take him and take him to the uh, uh, communications room and uh, get Rathbone on the phone, would you? I, I have a feeling he'll clear this right up. Ryder, uh, Ryder, could you accompany him? Apologies. I think it's probably a good Apologies, idea. Apologies, Vivian. Just trust me when I say it was absolutely necessary. I, I understand. I, I'd rather this get cleared up while we do with what we do. Um, <laughs> go, go with Jeeves, will you? And Jeeves sort of like reaches out a, a hand to show you, please, with me, sir. You go. <laughs> and, uh, and you drunk your way down the corridor <laughs> on that shot of whiskey. I'm uh, following, I'm following, I'm going with them. Yeah? I okay. And you go with him. The two of you go, um, <laughs> the two of you go be to, uh, to play battle strategy. And as, uh, as she walks up to the room, she presses a button and a big display comes up. And I also wanted to do a perception listen on her just to sort of see if she's being truthful, like to sure. sort of just get a sense of what her actual intentions here are. Sure, go for it. And how well do I actually know her? I'm not, I mean, I don't... You, you know her, like, through communications. You guys have had, like, it's sort of like a pen pal thing. She's, like, the one Rample who, like, she tracked you down a while back when she realized that you were sort of historically important to the Ramples. Mm -hmm. And you guys have kept something of a um, sort of... She would send you stuff, like books and things from the mainland to Avalon when you need. So I've it. never had any reason to like. Not to just trust intentions. her. Okay. There's lots of ramples that and she talks shit about the ramples all the time. It's like one of her favorite things to do. To talk shit about other rambles. Uh, six. Uh, as far as you can tell, totally truthful. Fuck him, right? Okay. Come on. Um, so we're drinking buddies, is what you're saying? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. Um, okay. So, uh, she presses a button and up comes a massive display of a building. Uh, the building is, uh, looks like a, like, citadel. Uh, it is incredibly protected. Uh, you know what this building is. Uh, this is called the Nexus. And the Nexus is a, uh, huge military facility designed specifically for the um, housing of political prisoners, dissidents, uh, like high-level military prisoners. It was built back during the uh, war, specifically for um, like political captures. Hmm. Uh, and since then, it's sort of somewhere between a like military center where they train military and still exactly what it sounds like, a place for dissidents. Um, so it, it, it's maybe the hardest place on Terra to break into. <laughs> You're telling me she's in there? Mm. Where else are they going to keep somebody like her? Basement or penthouse? Basement, we believe. Mm. Fuck. And on that, we're going to take a break because we are <laughs> so late. We're running so late, you guys. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> we're going to rush through the back of this episode. When we get back on Vast. And we're back! Woo! What up? We're back. we're back. We're back. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, you know Vast, it this ends at 10 p.m., uh, which means yeah. we're done. Goodbye. Hilarious. I'm going to bed. We're eating dinner. Right. Jokes. Jokes. Funny jokes. Funny jokes that group. no one believes. Um, uh. No, we are not done. We are just getting started. What? So, <laughs> we're going to begin at the beginning. Very good place to start. Uh, hold on a second. Hmm. 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 Yeah. 
Uh, so, we begin back inside the Nexus. Uh, you've been alone for some time in the room. Uh, after a while, you've kind of normalized to the gas. Uh, the dizziness is maybe less of a concern. Um, your memories are still a little foggy, but I think you've held on to those key people. And I think that's the big thing. Is I think you, you rightly pointed out, like, Fractal's still there. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think, uh, like, Lulu's still there. Rake's still there. Cyrus is still there. Like, you latch onto the crew, the family that you have, and you hold that. Um, which is when, uh, when the door opens and Agent Sebastian walks back in. Captain Bard. Are you prepared to confess? <laughs> Gonna have to turn this chair up. Captain. You are becoming tiresome. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Republic had had high hopes for you, but you have clearly failed to meet expectations. You've had a, can he come so he sits down next to you? You've had a Commendable career, mostly. There were many qualified candidates for the first human Starcrosser captain. I can't honestly see why you were chosen over the others, but I suspect the decision was ultimately a political one. Not from the Republic. Not from the states. Sort of have your own way of being. Nobody gets to get too mad. No one gets to get too proud. The leaders all took a risk on you, and that decision has clearly backfired. They hoped that they could use you to fix the problem. They that did hope that they could use me, didn't they? To fix the problem that you created. Mm. But I'm not sure that's possible. So let me be absolutely plain. You have two choices. You must confess publicly to the crimes you are accused of and be stripped of rank in both the Republic, military, and the peacekeep within the next hour. Or you will face a trial, one you will not win, it will not last long, and it will be a military one. When it is done, the judge may be lenient and imprison you for life, but I highly doubt it. It is much more likely that you will be sentenced in a way to make an example to others that might throw disunity into the peacekeep, or into the Terran Republic. If you value your life and your ability to do any more good with the time given to you, I hope you will choose to tell the truth. Sure, I'll tell the truth. You're an asshole. <laughs> You're a traitor to your own ideals. And whatever you want from me, you're not going to get it. You keep calling me captain because you know who I am. And you can make me forget. But what we found is out there. And that information isn't going anywhere. You can hide things from Terrans, but they don't stay hidden. No. We do like uncovering the truth. And he sweeps his hand over the console again. 
the hard way? I never knew any other way. That's actually why they picked me. <laughs> and he, without another word, he opens it up. There's sort of a large, it creates sort of a large red button. Hits it with his fist, like clearly angry. Uh, you experience a, I, like I'm not going to roll against this because uh, it's basically the end of the scene, but like you are in ultimate pain. It is, you, this is, they are subjecting you to every torture device they possibly can here. Mm -hmm. it's, they're not like cutting. It's not, it's not going to leave marks. It is going to, however, scar you mentally, mm -hmm. uh, de the, depending on how, you, how they find you later. But this is, for at least for now, we're leaving you in a, uh, a very bad position. He stays there and watches and oh. just stares at you while it goes down. So, so down. And you remember those eyes uh, uh, as, the, uh, as the pain shoots through your body. It's not that time to die. <clears throat> Meanwhile, so yeah. actually, you know what? Because it's like one of those things where like, I feel like it's necessary. Can you roll a composure check for me? Sure. For 19? scream. Oh. Oh. You keep eye contact. Oh. Uh, and you can see that it's starting to get to him, that he can't break you. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, just, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh my, wow. Oh my. She'd <laughs> 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 uh, just do this. She'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you slowly raise both hands. <laughs> oh, right, uh, James will go. James Bard, it's not James very Captain go. Bard, but I feel like it's appropriate. Um, all right, so. She had a crazy teenager. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, just but making sure I get this. She didn't put someone on her guilt wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as, you, uh, as you're following Jeeves, we're with Noble and Nighter. Mm -hmm. You follow Jeeves down the hallway. <laughs> the man you are about to speak to is named Benjamin Rathbone. He considers himself to be the family's chronicler. He has written five books on the family, and I hear he is writing a sixth. He claims to be Terra's foremost expert on the Rample family. It pains me to say he is correct in this assessment. <laughs> I think he's just a narcissist who found his way to gain fame and wealth by associating the fame and wealth of others, but whatever the case, this is evidence he does at least think like one of them. I can set a call up with him if you wish. This is what I've been asked to do by Miss Vivian. Would you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens a door with a key card. The door opens up. Whoa. Uh, it's a uh, it's like a lounge room. It's like a sort of small private theater. It has big hmm. leather chairs. It's got a big screen against the wall. I There's run a... and jump on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Room, please call Benjamin Rathbone. Tell him it is a priority channel. And the room says, yes. Calling Victor Rathbone, or calling Benjamin Rathbone, and it, and the screen pops up. Uh, you see uh, a, uh, hold on, let me make sure I get his description right. Hmm. Uh, you see a man in his early 60s, uh, small glasses, uh, white hair, think like uh, kind of an Ian Holm type. 
Uh, he's looking at you, um, flustered from a uh, from a room. There's a lot of books behind him. A lot of them have his name on them. Names like <laughs> the Rample Gambit and the Rample Solution and <laughs> the Rample Legacy and the Rample this and that. There's lots of Rample books. Um, there is in fact a large uh, portrait. Uh, there's like a large portrait on the back wall of a, uh, a sort of beautiful young woman in uh, very like outdated. Uh, sort of tear in clothing. I mean, not that you know what's dated or outdated, but um, and she's looking at you know sort of from the side like a royal portrait. Uh, hello, what's that, Vivian? I don't. Why are you? Oh. Um. It's so hello. soft. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh. Excuse oh. me. I'm. Did you? Are you intruding on Vivian Rap uh, on Vivian Rample's house? Hey, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm supposed to talk to you. Uh, are are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And wh who is your friend? Oh, uh, him. Yes. This is um first fellow first officer. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nidar. We are here because we have some questions for you. That's right. I am the ambassador. Of the bright side. It's wonderful to meet you, Benji. Or <laughs> uh, it's Dr. Rathbone, please. Uh, my name is Ooh, Dr. Yes. Rathbone, the third, <coughs> actually. Can I? They make three of you? <coughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's fine. I am the most refined prototype. Terrans are funny. I like <laughs> myself. I like it. All right. <coughs> three. Three. Apparently. You must be very good. <laughs> he thinks you're pretty good. Vivian! Is this some kind of prank? <gasps> Did the butler just leave them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I thought he was Dr. Rathbone, I assure you this is no prank. Even our, um, my friend here is uh, a little inebriated, so please humor us. Which is not poison. Actually, technically, it is a, a kind of poison. It's a, a light dosage of poison. It, it, won't, it, won't, it, won't, it won't hurt you or kill you, at, uh, at least not without uh, a, a large amount of imbibing over a long period of time, assuming you have a normal Terran biology. You are Terran, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> Which brings us to why we are here for you. Please, yes, I don't have much time. I'm supposed to be a ramble. I don't know what that means, but, buddy, you can figure that out. Bless you and whatever you believe in. <laughs> You're supposed to be a ramble. Yeah, my name's Noble <laughs> Defender. Um, somehow, uh, parents are named Ben and Erica and found a ship. Ben and I don't know Erica really. Everybody's saying, "Hey, ben ramble this, ramble Erica that." I don't know. <laughs> opens up a small computer and starts working on look, it. Look, mm. look, Doc, Doc. It's not really, you know, something that I like. Ben, you know, ben accept. Ben but um, a lot of people think that's ben what I am. Erica. I don't know what it is. Ben I just found out what a ramble was. Like I don't know, a couple of days, like a week ago or something. But no, more than that. How long ago was that? Longer than that, I'm not sure. Well, longer than that, Couple months, Doc. couple months. Longer than that. Let's go. Mm. Back. Let's see how much poison did I get? Wait! <laughs> ben, Ben Rample. Your father's Ben Rample. Biological, not my real father, but biological father, yes. Ben Rample. Ben Rample like the son of Mikkel the second, Ben Rample. No idea, sure, yeah. <laughs> You don't know. What? Son, what did you say your name was? They call me Aaron. 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 Y yeah. Aaron yeah. Rample. Yeah. That's I'm adding you to the family tree. Um, Ooh. listen, uh, this is fascinating. Um, the Rample family uh, do not, uh, let's say, publicly acknowledge the link of your, uh, the line of your family. Um, Mikhail the first split the rest of the family. He was a bit of an arrogant bastard. I wrote about it in the Rample Solution. Uh, to be honest, he tried to forcefully take control of the government. 
Uh, he failed, of course, uh, and spent the rest of his life in the coalition, uh, specifically in the New Pacific Alliance, in a big house on the beach. That sounds nice. Uh, yes, uh, it, it was considered to be um, also a bit of a military compound. Uh, he uh, some compared his arrogant nature to uh, his famous great great grandfather Matthias, uh, mm -hmm. who was the man who started the war. Uh, are you familiar with the war? I mean, you are familiar with the war. I'm familiar with many wars. I didn't know what this. Uh, one was. This is the war. We've oh. only had one. Only one. Wow, that's not that many. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes, it was one too many for us. Let me tell you. Well, quite I'm a lot of death. That's just for breakfast, usually, where I grow up, but <laughs> tell me about this war. Oh, big war. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. Yeah, right. The, uh, well, we have two states, uh, the <clears throat> Coalition and the Republic. Uh, back then, they were known as the Sojourners and the Returners. Mm. Uh, Sojourners are where you're standing now. Returners are a bit more fractured. Mm, yeah. <coughs> the Sojourner captain. Listen, you should just read my book, The Ramp Again. I'll really take you through this. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll have a copy. Uh, I'm sure Vivian has at least 10 copies. I've sent them to her over the years. I'll, I'll, oh, hey, I'll still order haven't, it. I still haven't gotten one signed, though. Hey, I, get this. I learned this a long time ago. I'll order it on eBay. <laughs> right? I, I, I don't know what that means. Neither do I. What's, a, what's an eBay? Is that a brightest eye thing? I read about, I read about, never mind. The point is, is that books are good. Why, yes, I agree. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you, because I would very much like to interview you for my next book. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, do you think we could arrange that? <laughs> Talk to Vivian. Excellent, I will, I will indeed. Um, listen, uh, some, son, if, if you are who you say you are, and I will need a DNA sample to confirm for sure, your situation is, very complicated. You are a rebel Great. in name, but most of the family will not accept you, given that you are a descendant of Mikhail I. There are, however, some who will. Vivian will, I think, and uh, you may have family in the coalition. Uh, but it's not all bad. See, oh, okay. and this is why you must read my book. <laughs> this also means you have incredibly prestigious ancestry. You are the great, 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 great grandson of Charlotte Rample. The woman who ended the war. Mm. That's her behind me. She's one of the great figures of our history. Oh. You are a scion, sir. Oh. Great. Okay. <laughs> um. That's her. Uh, ye yes. Yes. Quite. Uh, this was the royal portrait uh, painted just after her. Uh, uh, she assumed the throne from her father. <clears throat> Doc. By uh, murdering him. <laughs> what? Oh, she murdered her father. It, it, he was quite a madman. Oh, okay, good for her. Uh, yes, history okay, seems then. to agree with you. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's okay then. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, that's what you do when <laughs> things go crazy. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> so, I know, real, Doc, real quick. So, <clears throat> you're, you're, uh, you're, you're science. He's science, right? He's science? You know science? Real quick, Doc, yeah. I've got a question for you. Um, her... Woman, that is a what? A woman is not what this is, right? <laughs> uh, son, are you asking me the difference between a man and a woman? Well, <laughs> yeah, I am. No one's told me ever. They just look at me like I'm stupid. I don't know what it is. I told her to Son, this week. is a very complicated yeah. procedure. I know, but yeah. so Charlotte was a woman. Charlotte's a woman, you okay. are a man. Uh, oh, these are man. shit. Okay, cool, good. I know what I am. All right, <laughs> so look, so this is all fine and dandy. I'll figure about that later. Man, woman, got. What does that mean? That I'm related to that painting? <laughs> oh, just that there would be great interest in the, uh, in any story that we can get. You and I can make a fortune. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's a new word. Okay. Uh, a, a great deal of money. The house that you are standing in, you might be able to afford a house of one tenth that size. A, a great, a greatly large house. I don't. Do you know money? I don't know. I know you. Uh, money. Listen, son. Um, I'm going to ask you to uh, send me a DNA sample. Uh, there should be somewhere in that room a uh, uh, oh. a small uh, biological communicator. Uh, oh. Oh, I see it. It's a little thing right there. Yes, just put your just put your finger on it. It should transfer uh, transfer your uh, uh, basic genetics uh, yeah. as long as you send it to this address, and he displays an address okay. on the screen. Do you need blood? 
Uh, no, 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 no. You just, uh, just put wrong? your, just put your finger on the. It, it's a basic right. security measure. All of our stuff is, all <laughs> of our communications is tied to DNA. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Well, there, this is very simple. Right there, you go. There you are. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Using um, Terran tech. <laughs> uh, and there's like, there's sort of a scan that goes off. You transmit the signal over to, uh, to Rathbone. He brings it up. Mm. Alcohol has to be wearing off at this point, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only been 10 this minutes, is all guys. him. So, um, and he, he's like, It's okay. cool. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the most pain ever. Yeah, Lucy's like, like not screaming, and Noble's like, hmm, I wonder what kind of real estate. To be fair, if I could be watching this, I would encourage you to continue. Yeah. So go on. Go um, on. Yes. Um, Whoops. Yes. Yes, I will be analyzing this shortly. Uh, I look forward to speaking to you again, Aaron. Do you have any further questions? Yeah, what, what do I tell everybody? What, what, what am I ramble? What does that mean? What do I do? How do I act? What, what is it? Okay, Son, I'll read the book. Neil. Just tell me what to tell everybody. Your, your ramble. Okay. Thanks. And he hangs up on him. Well, did you get your answer? Yes, so, I don't know. Look, whatever I am, doesn't matter. We gotta go save Lucy, because that's all that matters. I don't care what they call me. She's the one that we gotta get to. God, I'm gonna lean on you for Let's a second. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you lean on him as the, as the two of you walk out of the room. Uh, not seeing uh, that uh, in the room on a little, like, uh, little, the tablet news ticker up pings uh, a headline uh, that says, New Rample Discovered. Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, meanwhile, shit. in the- What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. what, what is wrong with you? I just... Meanwhile, oh, my God. In, the, uh, uh, in, the, <laughs> in the room, uh, you brought up, uh, 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 sorry, uh, back in the observation chamber, uh, Vivian has brought up the Nexus. Uh, hey, hey, Vivian, can you uh, have your butler take some very strong coffee over to Noble Defender? Yes, I, uh, <laughs> I, had, uh, I, I took the liberty of doing that just a few minutes ago. Bless you. Indeed. I think we both, uh, uh, I think we've, we've both learned a lesson about giving uh, alcohol to uh, the brightest eye. It, it, was, I, it was necessary <laughs> for the time, honestly. Who knew that Bob couldn't hold their liquor? <laughs> I gotta say that that, that 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 stuff is good, but this is even better. He's sort of stumbling in. <laughs> this is good. What um, have you given him now? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> uh, the. I'm afraid I've not been to the Nexus. I've uh, I never had any reason to. Uh, but I do believe that we have a friend who has. Oh. Tom, would you come in here? <laughs> and through one of the doors walks. Tom Ramble. You know this guy. This silly son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> uh, Tom is a, uh, Tom's a uh, handsome 30-something dude. Did we meet him during the first investigation? Uh, you didn't. Okay. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Noble did. Either. I think Noble's the only one of you who yeah. met him before. Okay, I didn't know if we were all in the same, I can't remember who was in the room when we all oh, so got I together. Oh, so I by association. You wouldn't know him. Okay. I mean, you'd, you'd, yeah, you'd know that he's a Ramble. But. Okay. Tom Ramble, pleasure to meet you. Kayla Torres. I'm, uh, I'm sad that we're having to get together under these circumstances. I uh, barely escaped the vessel. I'm glad to see you did as well, Nidar. It was a very close call. Noble? Hey. <laughs> Looks like we're related. Yay. Anyway, uh, we have, uh, well, there's good news and there's bad news. I'm surprised there's good news, to be honest. Well, the good news is they're getting desperate. The airwaves right now are flooded with two stories. One's our friend right here. Wait, what? what? what yeah, what? he apparently told Rathbone that he's a Rample. Vivian, you put him in charge of that? And Vivian looks back. I figured he'd be the best one to ask. Yeah, well, he was also immediately uh, interested in 
pushing up uh, the announcement of his new book. He <laughs> immediately <laughs> contacted the press. Son of a bitch. Uh, we have not long before this goes off. Um, this means that... Uh, what were you doing while he was on the phone? <laughs> I was very much enjoying what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> however, you however, really have to talk about your priorities. However, I did think that maybe it was not. I was actually thinking about about uh, Noble Defender. I think it's important for him to understand if he was truly a rebel or not. There was a better way to do that. <laughs> this was the quickest way to get to the point, and we may be able to use it to our advantage later. We may. Well, you better hope so. Tom, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. The press knows, right? Everyone, whatever the press is, everyone knows, <laughs> right? Everyone knows, right? Yes, everyone knows. Aha. Aha. So ramples are important, right? He looks around the incredibly golden decorated room. Yes. <laughs> yes, Aaron. Ramples are quite important. Great. They don't know who the new Rample is. They don't. Meaning? Well, we need to rescue somebody that we care about, and everyone knows that there's a new Rample. So everyone will want to meet a new Rample. Is that correct? Safe to say. So, what if we give them a new Rample? Are you saying you'll go public? Kayla, what if we use her to get into where Lucy is being held as the new Ramble? Because it's controlled by Victor. Right? Why would they? Records of you are about at what, 150 years old? Nobody's got records of you anymore. But why would they why would they just let me into the Nexus because I said I was a Ramble? Hey, Vivian, I know how some politics work. You could uh, <clears throat> maybe tell the doc that that's the new Ramble, right? In theory, <laughs> as a favor. In theory, I could try. Right. But I'm afraid you, you faced Victor in person, yes? Yeah. yeah. If he sees you, the gig is up. Mm. 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 Is that a good point, huh? Mm. Tom, I know you've done some analysis of the structure. Maybe we can find a more tactical way in? And Tom walks up. Yeah, that's the bad news. They may be distracted, and the protests may be getting worse, but I believe that Captain Bard is being held in the cairn, and he points towards a, uh, uh, a place sort of in the center of the Nexus. This is the Center for Advanced Integrated Research at the Nexus. It's a, well, let's say it's where they keep the more experimental procedures. This, uh, it's where we develop and construct a lot of our weapons and our vehicles. The government wants to use the captain as a political scapegoat to save their own asses. So if plan A for getting a confession doesn't work, my guess is they'll try a plan B. That plan B will either be a quick, dirty trial and imprisonment, or worse yet, a public execution. And whatever they're doing, they're doing it quickly. We have reports from within, uh, from within the government, I still got friends there, unfortunately, who say that we've got upwards of an hour before they make some kind of decision. From what I understand, Bard's been, well, less than cooperative. That sounds accurate. Good for Lucy. But I, she's not gonna be able to hold that forever. Worst, worst case scenario, they will wipe her mind. Mm. They will plug their directives in. Tom, they you're, will make you're her telling time. me a whole lot of what you can't do and what can't happen and I need you to tell me what we can do. Understood. The cairn is accessible via a, uh, the cairn is accessible, uh, but only once you move past the outer defenses of the Nexus. The Nexus is a hexagonal compound surrounded by a 50 foot concrete wall. The grounds, 
contained within are roughly the size of downtown Chicago of old Earth. Along the walls on tail guard towers are gun platforms that rotate in almost any spherical direction, able to attack threats inside and outside the compound, on land or in air. Various buildings, hangars, and warehouses dot the grounds. There are helipads, runways, and motor pools. Plenty of vehicles to commandeer for escape once we're inside. However, Karen sits about halfway between the outer wall and the center of the hexagon, making it fairly difficult to get through. Once we breach the outer defenses, we will need to breach inner defenses. Probably have to fight. The uh, I can get us clearance to get inside the base. I'm not wanted, and I'm a rample in good standing. Plus, most of the people in the government still think that I'm a Pakha loyalist. So, it should be easy enough for me to suggest that Lucy is a traitor to the cause, and I can get us inside. But once I get us in, I do not have Karen access. We will need to fight, somehow, or sneak beyond it. Uh, so to be clear, you'll get us past the 50-foot walls and the turrets and... As long as we can keep you all from being seen, yes. I'm afraid your faces are going to make it harder, uh, especially the aliens. Walking a, uh, a limb and a mind into the Nexus is not a feasible solution. Huh. I'm going to need some kind of... Well, the only person that knows my face is Victor, and he's not standing outside watching who's walking in. No doubt we can get, we can get you in. He'll be harder. His face will be out soon. But if we move quickly, we might be able to beat the news. What if we were to arm the protesters outside of the gates? That would be a good distraction. They're sending innocent people to slaughter. That's not a feasible solution. Mm. Mm. Nope. <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Good question. So, Lucy's not cracking. By, by the way, this is your house. You don't need to raise your hand. <laughs> this is Ooh. my house? Y yes. No, yes, I this is your house. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Real quick question. They say that um, Lucy's not, what, telling the truth or something? That she's not cracking, right? That, yes. Right. And they need proof or something? They want a confession. I don't think they care about proof. A I think we're well past proof. Right. Confession that that they uh, that she did wrong, right? That she didn't save lives and that she didn't save the civilization, right? That she lied about the Pakha. That was what he was asking oh. for her to give him on the farm. Oh, okay. Well, here. Try this. Boop. It's on there. She didn't do any of that. You're saying... You have proof on there that what Lucy said was correct. Yeah, I had to record. Uh, this might not be a good idea going and stopping the slate. She was there. I was on the bridge. Like everything. It's right there. I've got it. I... Interesting. They'd be able to call the evidence falsified, but maybe if we leaked this to the press, it could create enough of a distraction to move us in. Yeah, I mean, it's the truth. Still didn't solve the problem of getting a mind and a limb. Inside. It might distract them long enough. You don't happen to have any, uh. Totally just saw you blanked on what they call it. Like you a call cloaking them. device? Yes, thank you. Personal cloaks aren't necessarily in our, uh, in our availability, but we, uh. But I do seem to recall Nidar having a certain amount of control over perception. Couldn't it you could be possible. Anyone Depending on how many people there are and how far away they are, it may be possible. What about the explosions that we are having made? Is there any ways we could use as possible distractions? And Idris walks in with a and box. Uh, <laughs> nice. Perfect. It's as many as I could make. I've got ten. They're, they're not very explosive. I, I don't know that they'd do much more damage than to blow a lock. But you put ten of these on a person... Well, it's the end of that person. Assuming they're not a flame, of course. A flame could just, you know, rebuild itself from the wreckage. But <laughs> assuming it's a Terran, we should be... They said the Terran was able to rebuild himself after being shot. Well, then this may well slow him down. Timothy? Yeah, how many pieces do you think you could blow someone into with ten tiny bombs? <laughs> Quite Timothy? a few. Do you want to see that footage? I'm going to turn to my arm, because this is a thing I do now. She hands you back the hand. And it snakes itself back on. 
You mentioned pharmaceuticals before. Could you create some sort of gas that would knock out Terrans? Not an ordinary Terran. But the others who might see us. Uh, yes. I am programmed with, for, I, I am pre-programmed with many uh, pharmaceuticals. <laughs> My creator was excellent at them. He was, yes. Is that something that you would be able to do? How, how, how much could you produce? What, what, am, what area would you be able to cover? Uh, I cannot produce any pharmaceuticals. I can provide you for, I can provide you with many uh, pharmaceutical options. You will need pharmaceutical labs in order to do it. Ideally tall, Klee style technology. Hmm. You, only That's have, out. you only have an hour. Yeah. Um, what were you saying? Look, do you want to check that footage and see if we can beat this guy? You want to do it? Yeah, I want to look. Okay. Right. You bring up the footage. Tactical analysis. We've already done nobles. Uh, let's do a tactical analysis from. Oh, I thought it was not a perception, right? Uh, no, this is oh, different. Right. Oh, I have no idea what this and number will be. I, yeah. I think <laughs> mine is 10. I figured it'd be a combined um, Hold on a second. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, do I need to do one, too? Uh, so. Just just give me a second, please. Sure, We're going to... I Honestly, you're probably just going to want to go with whoever of you has the better role on this, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be Kayla or Taka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the two of them can do it together. Um, <clears throat> hold on a second. Getting serious, guys. It's getting really serious. I can't believe you gave an interview to the press the instant you got to Earth. <laughs> I didn't know he was press. That's what makes it so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Don't sign anything. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Fif no. I hold up there, being tortured. Seventy. <laughs> Me? Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, and to Ka. I have something that says. Oh, you have tactical ten. Yeah, you, you, you do this. <laughs> you, you should do oh, this. Oh, you, you assist? Or can I assist? Yeah. Check? Or no? Oh, no, no. Um, that's actually not the same check. Okay. Let me give you a tactical analysis check. Okay. It's still not going to be, I think, near hers. But would I be able to assist, possibly? Well, let me check. Uh, to call it's a six. Does my uh, listen that is, oh, that's my counsel. Listen doesn't check into this because it's not happening. Well, is his better than a six? No, he, he rolled a six. No, because I, I get oh. a plus six to academic rolls for... One oh, right, your like, lower level listen check gives you yeah. a plus six to academics. So sure, yeah. Damn. So. It, 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 that's more like fact-based stuff, Damn. which like kind of counts in here. Academics doesn't actually, you know what? Academics doesn't check into this, okay. into this check, so no. Never mind. Just a six okay. in this case. Could I roll to um, assist or? I, I mean, you can, yeah. If you want to roll a six, you can. I would desperately need assistance. I got oh, a yeah? three. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was real bad. So, Jack, I can't re-roll to help? No. Well, I got a one, so that didn't help. Wow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You are stuck with the plan you've got. Right. Tiny bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny bombs and, and Tom control. Rample. And mind control and Tom Rample. Oh. Actually, actually, I do hey. want to do a perception lesson on Tom just because I don't know him. And sure, go for see it. See if okay. he's, because okay. he says they think he's a Paca loyalist. I want to make sure he actually isn't. Okay. So our plan is to walk in there, get through the guards, somehow find out where the captain is somehow where she's held, and then get out of there without an escape plan? Pretty much. Sounds great. Uh, what about, Vivian, um, this is your last chance to, uh, anything you got up your sleeve, anything you uh, haven't mentioned yet that might be able to offer us some assistance here. You got a plan? I, I could, but a plane would be shot down pretty quickly upon its, uh, Arrival near the Nexus. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm. How high can it go? We can get a plane into the about thirty to forty thousand feet. Of, uh, blah, 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 I'm getting the accent wrong. About thirty to forty thousand feet in the air. Got an idea. Extraction. Okay. 
We time going in there for when they launch a plane. Make it look normal, like nothing's happened. Gets higher above the radar. We have a high range teleportation device. The best damn thing you can find. We strap it on Captain, ourselves, beam up to that big thing. Uh, ship teleportation or... technology is not available on Terra. Damn! That's Paca technology. We don't have access to it. We don't, do we? No. They have our ship. Hmm. Moreover, it's a no-fly zone above the city. Mm. Flying a plane up there would be immediately suspicious. Yeah. Furthermore, if you escape, you are not welcome on this planet. They will track you. Victor Rample will find you. My suggestion to you is if you can get into the cairn and you can get Lucy out, I suggest you get to your ship or get to a ship as fast as you can. And they Tom, Tom looks over. There are plenty of smaller shuttlecrafts in the cairn. All of our localized spacecraft are all built there. Inside. You should be able to, uh, you should be able uh -oh. to commandeer one. Might be enough to get you up to the ship. I um, rolled a 10 to read. She Tom. is, she's yeah, on, Tom. yeah, he's totally on the level. Okay. Tom. You're asking oh. us, for, you're telling us you want us to hotwire one of the ships inside the Nexus? Something like that. <laughs> I'll happily help. No one would be able to fly it, no matter what it is. Tom. There are too many variables here. There's too much going on. She's right. Look. Hmm. No one seems to respect this, but I'm a fucking ambassador from a planet that would devour this whole damn thing. Now, I have been shot at. I have been treated not well. <laughs> against that son of a bitch and that fucking thing that has our friend. Now this press you talk about, I will go public. So it gets somebody to respect the fact that they're gonna start a galactic war. Clear her name and figure all this bullshit out. Does if they wanna go save her, good. And does this press of yours know that the Kira ambassador was executed on our arrival here? Don't think they do. No. Oh. A, represent a representative of the Peace Keep, that seems like something that the protesters would be very eager to know about. So I got an idea. I might not be the right thing to go in here and just start guns a shooting, but if I can go and distract them, if they want the real Ramble, then they'll get them. As an ambassador of the brightest eye. And the brother of the I queen. Oh. I'm worried you're overestimating your own importance. They want Lucy. They have Lucy. They don't need you. Which is why you'll go after it. If it's a bad idea, tell me. I'm throwing out stuff. I don't know what else to do. I just don't understand what you're hoping to accomplish with this. Intergalactic politics. Intergalactic turmoil. They don't want the Paca, they don't, they're lost. How would they like an entire colony, a civilization coming down upon them after they've killed the brother of the queen, who happens to be a rample and now a descendant of royalty? Son, have you... Do you know what's been happening in the brightest eye? Yeah, I do. She walks over to this table, presses a couple of buttons, and brings up a map. And on that map, you can see so the Peace Keep Space, and above it, the Brightest Eye, col the brightest eye uh, Constellation. And beyond that, up near Siren Space, but like even further up, whole area marked Vrare. And you watch. She was like, <coughs> this update to our maps, which are all generated by the Siren, so we trust that they are correct. This update came in just yesterday. It's already made the news. Let me just show you. She presses a button, and footage of a, uh, or, a, a, or the maps shift. The entirety of sort of forward Brer space suddenly becomes empty territory. Uh, like it, the po political lines, the border moves back. From what we understand, one Brightest Eye ship moved into Vrare territory, 
and eliminated some 600,000 Vram. Hmm. We okay. understand that hmm. the brightest eye just committed something of a genocide. If you're worried about people being not afraid of you, well, let me just say, your fears are unfounded. But if you go on national television and tell everybody that that's coming for us, and you think that that's going to make peace and not panic, I'm afraid you truly aren't a Terran. Man, I'm not good at this ambassador thing. <laughs> Listen, the only option we have is a bad one. Gotta be something else. That's just the way that it is. You can do it. I won't stop you. But I warn you that it will create an incident. If what you are looking to do is avoid one, I, well, I suggest we do this as down and dirty as possible. Took the words right out of my mouth. Fucking dirty it is. We just gotta go with what we got. Tom, take us in. Nidar, need you to whatever it is that you do <laughs> to uh, allow both of you to be unseen. For what it's worth. Noble. I think you're right. We should go there. Guns I'm gonna blazing. need you to keep your mouth shut. I just try. I do what I always do. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking you for trying. What I'm saying is I've watched your mouth get you into trouble, and we have no room for error here. Do you want to rescue your captain? You haven't ever seen me fight. For real. I, I look forward to it very much. All I'm asking you to do is to do it with your mouth shut. You haven't seen me. Done. Viv. This is my family house and all that. You gotta have weapons and armor here. You gotta have something. Yep. We do our best to equip you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm afraid most of our stuff is decorative. You've taken most of our explosives already. What is it that you're looking for? Armor, fence, anything that can fit Terran biology and strap us all up and get ready for the hell we're about to face. And do you have any personal soldiers or guards? I do, but I'm afraid they're only going to raise more suspicion. Would it make sense for Tom to be traveling with any? If there are protesters Tom, Tom and looks the streets are dangerous? I could take a couple of personal bodyguards, pretend like they're intelligence agents. The minute they think the family's involved, though, I'll be implicating you and Vivingos. Yeah, it's the last thing I want is this place coming down around me with Voss. Basically, we get Lucy out, she becomes a enemy of the state, and we're on the run. Great. I'd certainly appreciate anything that you had by way of uh, armor. Okay. Uh, so, all right, let's see. Um, we're doing good. I'm trying to think about like what you guys got. Uh, so they have, uh, they have tactical Kevlar, uh, that they can give you, uh, that will give you, and that's enough to fit, to I, cover I, I you have my, to I have my peacekeep suit, which Yeah, is it's gonna be better, better than that. Yeah. Um, because that's peacekeep technology. And I have, an, I have plenty of guns, so I don't really need any more weapons either. Yeah, Noble, you've got better technology than anything they have. Okay. Well. Um. Nidar, you're probably pretty good I'm here. Well, wait, didn't did, didn't Noble lose his suit last? Didn't you lose your armor? I last lost the shield. I lost the chitlin, where it was damaged. Yeah, he okay, lost okay. the chitlin. Or the, okay. chitlin. the uh, yeah, the yeah, okay. the uniform is mostly fine now. If, okay. if it got it got hit really bad, but let's assume a, a basic amount of self repair. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna give you tactical Kevlar that'll soak for three. Um, and that's instead of your street clothes. You don't wear it over the clothes. It's like its own thing. Okay. It's like a body armor. Do you have a, do you have a, six, do you have a six shooter? I'm talking about like a gun. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come with me. And she leads you to a room that's literally like a. It's like a museum hall. It's got like, like stacked up suits of like old school armor, like metal, like plate armor, and stuff <laughs> like that. Like. Big armor. encumbering armor. Yeah, just to be clear, that yeah. makes the armor a seven instead of an eight because you take away a one for the exactly. Shield. Okay. Um, and you have uh, uh, yeah. 
right, and you see sort of all this, and she walks over to a small case, she opens it up, and inside are two six shooters. These belong to the, to your family's line, I believe. Yeah. I guess Charlotte would want you to have this. Oh, does the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All you, right. know, you know how to use one of those. Well, <clears throat> watch enough of uh, historical documents to know <clears throat> how this guy Dirty Harry uses one, so yeah, I'm good. <laughs> historical documents. Dirty Harry. Well, yeah. Tom, we're going to just go on the assumption that this is going to be successful and we're going to get Lucy Bard. The second we do, we need everything that we got to find some way to get out of here. I'll be with you. We'll do our very best. I know where the ships are. I know where the ships are located. I've got enough uh, pull that I should be able to get us through. Are you uh, arming yourself? Of course, I'm always armed. And he pulls from his back. He has a like a small cloaked blaster. He pulls it out. It's a uh, uh, it's a peace keep scatter pistol. Awesome. All right, let's go. Benefits of intelligence. Big self cloaks, and he hits it, and it disappears in his hand. Mm. Wow. Okay. Let's go get our captain. Cho Chang's your arm does that too, right? Hmm? I don't know. Do you? No. <laughs> eh, worth checking. <laughs> uh, all right. For the record, this is an awful plan. <laughs> Do we have a layout? I think Let's it's the only plan we have. have. It is the only yeah, plan we have, but it's a bad one. one. That's what you guys were looking at. We're good. Okay. Lucy. After a great many hours, or no, a great many, like 45 minutes of pain, Ugh. it disengages. And uh, and Isaac uh, looks at you, Sebastian looks at you. Yes. I. If you give me a few more minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> he hits a thing. Come in. The door opens and two guards step out. He disengages the force field. The two guards step to either side of you. One reaches a syringe to your neck to sedate you. Physical sedation sets in pretty quickly. They unlock the chains, take both of your arms, move them over each of their like shoulders, and carry you out of the room. <laughs> they carry you to a small elevator, which closes and then is uh, and then rises higher and higher and higher and higher. Finally, it stops. The doors open. It's a, uh, you're walked through a lab. On either side, uh, large vehicles are being worked on other things. You're in essentially a tube. You can see this all through glass. The glass is darkened. This is like a two-way, like a one-way mirror, essentially. They can't seem to see you, but you can see all of it. You walk down the tube until the end of the hallway. The hallway has a few different security doors, all of which are armed, all have armed guards. Each of these are set through until finally Isaac clicks a final one and looks at you. I truly wish we could have had a better working relationship. <clears throat> What's next is on you. And he walks out. <clears throat> and the guards throw you in the room. You look up small room. It's got monitors around it. This is like a control center for the Cairn. And sitting in the center of it is First Minister Julian Voss. 
He sits and gestures to a small chair. No, I'm sorry, he doesn't. He looks down at you. You are on the ground. The way a disappointed parent might regard a small child. Bard. My advisors assured me that choosing you would be a risk, but a calculated one, that you could give the Pakha a new perspective on Terrans. You've always been such a loyal soldier. Hello. So what the fuck happened? First Minister, I presume? My government is falling apart. Mm. This is your fault. We are in a world of shit because you had to go and take that one piece that was holding the whole galaxy together and take it out. The Republic is good. The Republic is right. And now I'm the thing holding the Republic together. I'm the Pakha. Want to take me out too? What will be then? What do you think is going to happen here? I think we're going to have a talk. And I think the power of the office of first minister is going to compel you to act like a goddamn Terran and not some alien whatever you You said your ministers advised you I was a risk. Congratulations. It worked. All you've shown me is that you're terrified and you're losing control. And I really don't see how you think this is gonna play out well for you. Let me give you a little glimpse into the future. Avalon piece of trash. Tomorrow morning. I went to high school in the Republic. You think this is new? Tomorrow morning, there's going to be an explosion. The Gravity Ball finals. They're going to go straight to shit. Estimates between 250,000 and 300,000 killed. Our largest arena. Gone. Avalon terror will be responsible. Your people. Your orders. As a result, tomorrow, by evening, in a state of solidarity with the coalition and all civilized people on Terra, I will have you publicly executed. And then we will burn that island you came from to the ground. And I, I will ride that wave of popularity into a lifetime in this office. I will be president. I will be dictator. I will be everything holding this together. And I will do it because I defeated you, your lies, your disgusting rabble. I will have made us great. And then I will take us to the stars. I've been to the stars. Your tiny mind wouldn't be able to handle it. Have a nice life. 
Take her away. Can I move? Uh, try for it. Composure check for 19. Nineteen? Yep. Do I see... I'm in the control room, right? Mm -hmm. What buttons are handy? Uh. <laughs> are any of them big and red? <laughs> uh, roll perception after you roll composure. How about that? All right. Eight. Eight for composure. Uh, my perception, I, I have it as a 15. Uh, your perception is 15. And what was your? Eight. Okay, good. Okay. Nine. Nine for perception. Wow. Okay, yes. Um, so, there are some big red buttons. Uh, most of them seem to be about facility lockdowns or um, uh, like, like essentially panic buttons. Uh, there is uh, one specifically for like that you can kind of see looking out over the uh, the outer areas, and you, there's one looking out into the inner areas. Uh, and these are essentially like controls to for like security access within these areas. Uh, another thing you notice, uh, like as you're watching and looking for the buttons and stuff, is that there are security cameras pointing to the outside of the facility, right to the the like main entrance through the walls and up to the security entrance you see a car park and out of the car steps Kayla Torvis <laughs> as you see this and Noble Defender as you see this your legs they're still having a really hard time moving but your arms just came back to you what do you do Has he left the room? No, he's standing to leave, but he he's he's expecting you to leave. He has like guards that are stepping up to to talk to you. There's like two of them behind you. Uh which the buttons that are panic buttons would lock things down. Is there a button that looks like it would just disrupt surveillance on that segment of the facility? Oh, yeah, yeah, if you want to just turn off the surveillance, yes, totally. I would like to stumble into those buttons and then wheel around and punch this guy. Let's Got it. That's going to be like a two-move thing. Yes. So he might have a move between that. Uh, we're going to do the first action as a surprise action, and then you'll have to roll initiative for the rest. How about that? <laughs> yep. Okay, cool. So uh, go ahead and roll for – actually, this now. Um, Go ahead and roll for an athletics check. <laughs> uh, an athletics which I don't know one. that you have one of those yet, so I'm going to make you one. That is your strength. No, I'm sorry. I have athletics and your one. Your stamina. Your athletics. Your combat awareness. Um, and that's good. So it's not a great check. <laughs> Six. All right. Oh. Also, since you have very little in computers, this is going to be a pretty tough thing for you to do. You, have, you literally have a negative three check in computers, so, like, this is not your strong suit. But we'll Can't try. press a button? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, she still has a <laughs> shot at it. I'm not computer. It's I'm not putting computers in the check, because otherwise okay. it would deck it. Uh, that's sort of what I'm, just, that's how I'm just checking. Just going off this. that perception there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just need to not biff this. Don't say things like that. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I because I rolled two <laughs> ones. What was that? You ruined it. Uh, oh, no. What yeah, I got a one. Okay, so you stumble up onto the the control panel, 
and start to hit it, but the machine does not do what you want it to do yeah. uh, right away. Uh, now for the next check, I need you to roll initiative. Technically, you are now in combat with First Minister Boss. Cool. <laughs> what? That dude's a douchebag. Uh, my initiative is seven? Yes. <laughs> and it's a three. Reroll. Got a tie. It is a two. Okay. He has first action. Uh, so you stumble up. He backs off cowardly. Um, he backs off from the chair. Guards, get her now! They be, They both spend the turn pulling their weapons. It's now your turn. Were the guards in this room the whole time? Yes. Citizens of the Republic, you guys know any sports fans who are about to die for no fucking reason? Okay, uh, social convince 28. Yeah. <laughs> it was his mistake putting you in a room with people you could convince. Yeah. She could make a worm sound. 28? 28? Yep. Just Whose green ones are these? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I, put, I threw those in Thank the you. She loves the talking. She loves the talking. Sorry. Remember the song? In your head. Yeah. Oh, look. They're the same. <laughs> All right. Help me take the nothings out, if you would. Take the nothings out? Yeah. Their combined threshold is a nine. Ooh. Oh, that was my dad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are ones. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, one of them turns to the other one. Oh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. One of them turns to the, to the first minister and points his weapon at the first minister. Oh. oh. It says, Avalon is free. Oh. Whoa. The other one takes aim at him. Yeah. <laughs> first minister backs up against the wall as slowly as he can, looking at you the whole time. Who's got a radio? Uh, your your guy with the gun does. Can I have that? And uh, he says, don't do it, shoot him if he does it. And the guy looks at you and throws it. Oh, God. The other soldier fires. He dies. You get, you catch the radio. <laughs> it's back to your turn. Is there an emergency band on this thing? Uh, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, are you, in order to like talk to the whole place? Is that what you're going for? What's emergency? What? Literally anyone I can call. Sure. Is like. Yeah, I mean, it, it's basically a, it's, it's, it's for his squad. It's a hit, like you hit the radio and it goes out. So it, it might hit this facility, it might hit this area. I gotta tell someone. Uh, uh, the 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 uh, the other soldier, the one who just shot, aims at you. Lives are at stake, kid. Yes, this they is are Captain traitor. Lucy Bard of the Starcrosser Avalon. Put down the radio. First Minister Voss is planning Put the murder the of hundreds of thousands of citizens. Get her out of here. Get him out of here now. And the um, uh, the door, like the wall opens for Voss, but a sort of hidden door you didn't know was there, and he <laughs> steps into it, closing back around him. The, uh, the soldier advances on you, tries to grab the radio from you. You are now in combat with the soldier. 
Uh, roll initiative. Roll. Four. Roll again. Initiative tie. Oh, man. Uh, Two. Beat him. Whoa! He rolled a one. Wow. A second wow. Initiative. How do I disarm him? Uh, you wanna you wanna roll to disarm? Yeah, I it's, don't have a weapon. I yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, yeah. it's pretty it's pretty rough um, because normally that's like actually kind of a specialized move. You need to like buy disarm. What you can do is you can attack him hand to hand. Sure. And try to knock him out. Uh, okay, hand to hand. Is that a thing you do? I've got a two. That's What's strength. Hand to hand. Need in the balls. Knock me. <laughs> Need in the balls. And combat awareness for six. That works. Six? Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. One. Okay. Uh, he hits you, uh, or you hit you hit him. He dodges, grabs the radio, and pins you up against the, uh, the computers, trying to wrestle it away from you. Uh, we cut from this to... Oh, damn. Hold on. We cut from this to outside. You have you uh, march past the walls and into uh, through Victor Rample's uh, deal. Nidar, go ahead and roll for mind control. All right. Uh, telepathy control. That's twenty one. Twenty one. To avoid detection. And that's for both of us. That is for both of you. Yeah, you do not need to roll stealth for this. This is like the thing on Doctor Who where it just sort of shifts people's perception so they just don't. So they just see. don't see you. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Cool. He's the he's the personal equivalent of the psychic paper. He can. So cool. You can just look like whatever you need to look like. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Jesus Christ. Is it alert? Oh, it's nothing. No. Nothing's going to be around. Too fast. It's very slippery. Both ways. That's your job, though, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds fun. Oh, no, sorry. You just had a plan. Four, five, six. Ooh, exciting. A, a plan you can't tell the DM. 11. 11? 11. You are successful. Damn yes. straight. You needed that to oh. be successful, by the way. Yeah. Any lower than an 11, and you would have been screwed. Oh. Yeah. So, way to go Woo. on the outstanding Woo. check right there. Woo. Nidor manages to get you through. The two of you walk past Terrence, who don't even We're see like, you. Uh, Noble, Noble at the back, Kayla in the front, right? <laughs> cool. Sure. Whistling <laughs> as we go. Kayla's in the front. Noble's <laughs> in the back. All right, so you, you head in, and... <laughs> The doors open. Tom, uh, Tom steps in uh, to the facility, uh, right. and the doors close behind you. It's now you guys just walking through this facility. Do any of you have any way to pinpoint Lucy? Uh, perception, listen for Lucy Bard. In Go the for facility. it. Uh, that one work, that Fifteen. Work. Can I boost her at all, or is it not really? Uh, oh, you I can know. telepathy scan. All right, Woo. so that's Four. a uh, 24. That. 24. All right. Woo. This is why you guys got to get on a couple of digital dice rollers for these huge yeah. checks. These are like, like, this is why we moved to digital uh, in the home game, because it just got to a point where it was like, like you're rolling not, 50 dice. It's not rolling well. I don't think I've ever had somebody actually roll 50 <laughs> dice. Don't take me on my word. I mean, that. I have enough dice. If I, I know you do. <laughs> I think that actually happened. We have 45, 46. 42, yeah, we've had, I think we've had 42s, uh, stuff 42. like that. Yeah. Uh, so here's successes. Uh, oh, wait, over there? Okay. Here we go. These are successes. So Good, here we go. They're all just one, two, three, four. What did you get? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, but six, he's boosting. seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 Ten? Ten. Yes. And I got a six. Six. Ten. That's going to pop him up to an outstanding. So, uh, yeah. You listen, and uh, the cairn, which is uh, in front of you, right? It's like it's like essentially you're going through like a security checkpoint, and then there's the cairn beyond that. There, it goes low into detention cen- cells, which is where Tom thought she was. He's like he's literally he's saying like, like we need to get to the detention cells, and as he says that, you sense no, she's up in the actual oh. like in the the research facilities, uh, in the control room, and not only that, but not you can in the sense cairn. It, it, it's, it's, it's still, still in the, the it's still okay. in the area of the cairn, but it's up, basement. not down. Okay. And uh, you can sense that she is in grave danger. She is in grave danger. We need to hurry. Like move. she's like she's like fighting someone. Oh, we gotta move. Let's she's go. Being but we don't have a way to get into the cairn without suspicion. That's what we we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At some point or another, this has to become an action. Like you gotta force your way in. Can we go to the elevator? 
Yeah, yeah, you're heading you're heading towards the elevator, but there's a security checkpoint. I would point. like to yeah, I'd I would like to I roll can... a perception to see like what we're dealing with on the outside here. Yep, Kayla, perception also, I check. I have an arm that can make a big hole in a wall. Sixteen. If we need that. <laughs> I can make a big hole in a wall. It does okay. do that. Yes. It's the same one that blew up the tank. Hang in there, Captain. Hang on there, Captain. Oh God. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I never trusted this with my father. Very nice. Very nice. Ten. Woo! 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 Okay. Uh, so, down the hall are four guys. Uh, they are. Uh, they're at a security checkpoint with a like metal detector and a whole series of like security procedures to get into the cairn. Beyond that is a security door. Beyond that security door, you can expect further resistance before you get to the elevators. Man. Uh, the elevators are going to have key cards on them. They're gonna have some manner of security system there. So either you're gonna need to get the code from someone or you're gonna to need to get a key from someone. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Uh, the uh, that leads to an elevator, which leads up to the tactical area of the cairn, which in uh, which are the the uh, the I'm sorry the uh, like shipbuilding area of the cairn, uh, the labs, which is where uh, Lucy apparently is. Mm. All right. So let me get this straight: four guys, then a door, then an indeterminate amount of guys, then an <laughs> elevator. Because mm -hmm. okay. you'd like so. me to blow up the security mm. checkpoint. Oh, yeah, they can't see either of them. Not yet. So I think Noble and I and Tom just kind of waltz in there, waltz toward them, and uh, do your thing if you can. Arm, how do you feel about blowing up the security checkpoint? <laughs> <laughs> Have we asked them if they want to be friends with us yet? They definitely don't want to be friends with us. Our, our friend is dying upstairs. Oh my gosh, our friend is dying. Do whatever we need to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like your arm. <laughs> Sometimes murder is a necessary evil. I, I very much agree. I, I agree with your arm. <laughs> I agree with your arm. Sorry, too. you guys moving in. Nice arm. Hans. I need an arm like that. Um, so, yeah, so they're, they're oh, moving. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah. Before we go do anything, three tiny bombs for you. Thank you okay, oh, hold three up. Three tiny Noble. bombs for you. You now have three, three tiny, tiny bombs. Three tiny. Three, we're going to call these sticky bombs. And Ooh, four tiny bombs. bombs for me. <laughs> three for uh, Noble, three for Kayla. Hold on a second. Two guns. Two guns and three sticky bombs. That was a good movie. <laughs> if at I'm all so if at all possible, these are reserved for Victor Ramble. Already on it. Right. If not possible, use them if you gotta. Uh, and then I'm sorry, oh. three for Taka. Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Three, four. four. Nine artists. I don't, I don't I really. didn't think he could really use them. No, no, really. it's cool. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah. It's, cool. it's all good. I just wanted to it on my head. make sure. No, I, just, I didn't want no, you to because I didn't think you would actually be able no. to. Okay, those things do 10 damage. So when you Ooh. when you use Ooh, them, use them. damage. Uh, but, but how successful they are in actually getting to their target is up to you and your either your ranged combat throw or a hand-to-hand -hand oh, combat check to get them onto the enemy. Okay, so, uh, so the idea here is she's going to open fire first. Yes, but are, am I waiting till you get to a certain point before you? Well, you have a, you said you have assassinate, right? Oh, but you're blowing up, not assassinate. Yeah, I'm blowing up, not assassinating. You have assassinate. I have assassinate. Well, then really, you should go first yeah. and be in front of us. Yeah, I can go in front of us. Because no one yeah. can see you. Exactly. Yeah, so as long as I guess if I, I need, Nidar probably needs to be like right behind me, so I'm yeah. still in front of Yeah, the two of you have to go together. Together. Yeah, so, so you uh, go together. So if you say kay. there's like a certain distance, I should be able to take your advice on this, because I am not of this plane. Well, yeah, but you know how powerful your bomb is. Well, I'm using the gun arm. Oh, the gun. Oh, it's just a projectile thing. Okay. Yeah, so I, don't, I can be at any point. Uh, 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> I will go up unseen to the checkpoint and blast it with the gun arm. Okay, uh, so you're targeting... Uh, Is that assassinate? The, it's, it, no, there was you like can only really assassinate one of them, I think. sort of like right. a building yeah. with... Well, it's, 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 the, checkpoint is, the checkpoint is in the Wait, hallway. It's a, hold, hold on a second. Okay. It's a checkpoint, it's a hallway, it's got a metal detector in it, it's got four guys, two on one side of the metal detector, two on the other side of the metal detector. Okay, I'm you gonna, can't just open fire on everything. You need I'm gonna to target, target the metal detector. And hit the metal detector. Okay. Yes, because... So, uh, ranged combat points. check, please, one, for... One question. Oh, wait, hold on. Blaster yeah. shot for... Oh, 
What's up? One question for you. Sorry. I'm no, 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 no. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's just we have it. We we're, we're in play. So it's already happening. All right. Um. Uh, the tall so playdown arm is seventeen. It's oh. uh, seventeen. Yes. Uh, that is eight to hit. Okay. Uh, you are you are gonna hit it fine. Um, so you open up with this thing. It does ten damage. It does about the damage of one of these bombs. It's real gnarly. So her hand opens up and you see it like fused with this crazy tall Klee energy, and then it blasts forward and the uh, the checkpoint explodes backwards. Time slows for a second around all you guys as uh, the as like these four guards like. <laughs> like fly back, <laughs> and their their you know explosion just like knocks the fuck out. It is an wow. impressive. You've never seen a weapon that <laughs> fucking impressive. Yeah. That's a cool ass weapon. Wait, was it is it more impressive than Victor Rample's arm? It's a different kind of impressive. <laughs> yeah, but it's similar actually. All right, I think it's All more right. impressive. I just damn huh? you you that one you. That one, no, Tom. Tom, that one. Everyone you, that move. one. You, that one. I'll take that one. Let's go. Grab a key card if you can. Ooh. Clean it up. You are now in combat with four guards, one each. Uh, <laughs> I need you all to roll initiative. None please. of them died? Yep. No, none the of them died. Oh, come on. They're not uh, They've all been injured. There you go. Yeah. And Tom's They're fight, lower health now. Tom's fighting too, right? Tom is fighting too. All right. All right. So technically, it's uh, Tom's probably fighting the same one you are, Nidar. Okay. So it's like, oh, why don't crits count for initiative? Oh no, um, I was keeping them together. Don't they have to stay together to be yeah. invisible? Oh yes, if you're trying to keep them invisible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got it, I yeah, understand. Okay. So then, um, uh, oh, before you roll initiative, okay. roll your mind control, please. Okay, that is... So I'll the control for control 21. Control for 21. Yeah. Uh, everybody else roll initiative, please. One, two, three. Six. Six, damn. Yep. Four. Oh, God. Three. Uh, all right, what are your numbers? One. Okay. Four. Okay. Six. Okay. That's your initiative? No, that's his, uh, <laughs> that's his telepathy control. Right. We're seeing if he's still under stealth. Four, four, gotcha. Six. Okay, you are no longer stealth. Not great. That's fine. Uh, so roll your initiative, please, Nidar. Uh, what is this my <laughs> The giant laser blast gave you away. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, the metal detector's gone. Your, and there's a brain in the jar. Uh, oh. Your initiative is six. Six, okay. So in the future, this is something I could have used the CP cage for, Ooh. right? Uh, yeah, okay, can we, can we talk about that for a second? Yeah. Um, so, uh, no, so, th so yes, yes, this is the exactly the kind of action you should play Tsukikage with. Okay. Um, no, 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 play it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, this is, you're learning how to play with this. So this is new mechanic. We're, um, you've seen this used a little bit probably previously, but we are using martial arts in Vast now. Um, these are specialized Ooh. skills that can be bought by players to give them interesting really? extra combat checks. Uh, one of the reasons we re-rolled Kayla Torvis was we decided she was gonna sort of be specialized in a couple of different levels of martial arts, and that was where we were gonna dump a lot of her points. So, as a result, she has certain moves. This, um, she is now mostly, she doesn't have her blunderbuss anymore, she's mostly just rolling with the, uh, with a katana. As long as she has it sheathed, she has a move in her Aido called Tsukikage. Tsukikage uh, adds her weaponry to her initiative check for any check that starts with her weapon sheathed so that she can do like a samurai deal, right? <laughs> what do you got? So it's a seven plus four. It's then, seven correct? plus four, okay, correct. Okay, so sorry, I have to roll it. Also my initiative is actually five because I forgot to add fast reflexes. Oh yeah, nice. Which I've forgotten to add, I think, to every initiative roll in this game so, since <laughs> I bought it. Well, it's better, it's a four now. Nice. You're basically gonna swap over there and then you got a five? Yeah. Cool, so turn order is Noble Defender, Taka. Uh, then two of these guys are gonna check, then Kayla, then two of these guys are gonna check, okay? I, uh, I roll my initiative, which is eight, actually, because I went, so I went over. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> what? Even without crits? Oh, sorry. Crits don't count on sorry. initiative. Sorry, it's five. Okay. Doesn't matter. Cool. 
Uh, is, noble is, noble okay. Night Art to Ka. Noble Night Art to Ka. Uh, check, check. Kayla, check, check. So, Noble, what do you do? Unsheathed right. sword. Go for the one on the right! <laughs> I come to the one on the far left corner, so that'd be on my 10 o'clock. Okay. Coming up. Okay, great. Uh, this Back. is a sword check. Uh, you are going to, where is your sword? I thought we did this once. Oh, we 19. Did. 19. Yep. And you quick draw your sword so you don't have to take the turn. Thank God. You can attack on turn. Oh, how many gears are supposed to be? <laughs> I'm so glad There's my arm is willing to murder. Out attack. Uh, so an all-out attack means you have no defense that round. Okay. Uh, but it adds uh, oh, that's a, a, a variable number okay. of points to your attack depending on what goes One, into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a hit. Damn straight. Uh, how much damage does your sword do? Eight? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you run up on that guy and slice him across the chest. He is gone. <sighs> Noble, look for a key card. Already on Whoa. it. And he's moving in to try to find a key yeah. card. Uh, Nidor, you're up. Right. So because these are Terran, I, uh, instead of using my Talkley laser, which is only a four, right? I should probably try to mine, mine shut down, shut down, shut down his mine. If you like, go for it. Because I probably have a bigger role for that. So let's, yeah, if you let's like. do that. All right. Is that an is that a two or nine? Would that be a nine twenty one also? Night are your telepathy control if that's what you're trying to do is yeah. a twenty one. Yes. Twenty one. Okay. All right. Nine left. Rolling against his mental defenses rather than his physical defenses, so it's a little bit harder. Beat a nine. So far, oh, beat a nine. Yeah, I got that actually. <laughs> oh, because we're one. Shit's gone. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Woo! No! Okay, uh, you break into his mind uh, and shut him down for a turn. You don't have okay. full control over him yet, but he will not attack this round. Okay. This round. Uh, which one do you want it to be? The uh, one who's fighting uh, Tom, the one who's fighting Taka, or the one who's fighting uh, Kayla Torres? Well, who's, uh, who's if we're running up to him, you yeah. take this guy, and they're going to go for the back one. So take the one on the. Who's the one? Who's the one closest to us on the right? Probably that would be. Uh, that's the one that. Uh, to cause dealing with, I believe. Okay, let's do yeah, that. Take we'll, shut that we'll, sh we'll shut that person down. Okay. Or no, no, that's Tom. Let's just say it's Tom. Let's yeah, Tom. Okay. just shut yeah, Tom. That's fine. Shut down Tom. That's fine. So yeah, you shut down Tom's guy, and Tom just knocks the dude in the in the face and pulls a scatter pistol on him. Sweet. Done. Um, to come. I'm going to quick draw the Paka multi weapon, and I'm going to gunslinger. Okay, do uh, it. So uh, shooting first with the uh, gun arm because it's behaving. Nice. That's a 17? Yep. Good shoot. Oh, no. You good slice. Good yes. slice attack. <laughs> I got no. Oh, I see. Good hypnotherapy. You were up in the no. thing. You're still <laughs> struggling with that dude in the radio. Uh, <laughs> yes. Seven? Seven? Okay. Yeah, I mean, she cuts you just like. <laughs> <laughs> A little longer. Niner, pointer, uh, niner. He, uh, so you open fire, he dodges out of the way, and it like hits the wall behind him. Uh, then I'm gonna hit him, uh, or aim with the, or shoot him with the paka. Okay, which you can do because of the gunslinger. Yep. And that's a 19. Ooh. Target. Maybe it can go back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Wow. Beat a six. <laughs> oh, sweet lord. <laughs> I beat that with just the crits. <laughs> whoa, wow. hey, whoa, sorry. Wow. Hot stuff. 13. Wow. Uh, 13? Yeah, 13. Wow, right on. Um, yeah, how, how do you want him to die? <laughs> his head's just gone. Cool, his head's just gone. Whoa. Uh, he, he like hot. dodges out of the way and he's like, ha ha, missed me, and then he's gone. Um, You're so good at these Matt Mercerisms. Jackson. That's two down, one <laughs> disabled. So, yes, as, 
as Matt Blurser is fond of saying, <laughs> how is it that you would like to handle this character death? Um, all right, so uh, oh, Jack Evil Twin. So those are. Let's. I'm. I'm gonna say those are. One of the guys is gone. The other one is the one who's up with Kayla. Kayla, you're running towards this dude because he's one of the dudes in the back. He has a shot off on you first. Roll defense. Um, I'm gonna. Can I use the Uke Nagash Nagashi? Okay, you are going to use Uke Nagashi, which allows you to um, make a counterattack when dodging. So essentially, what you're doing is you're calling a dodge mm -hmm. this action yes. with uh, with Uke Nagashi. Cool. Uh, so because he's attacking you, that'll manage that. Ooh, um, Tuck and all right. Roll. So you are going to uh, add weaponry to your mm -hmm. dodge, your defense. Your defense is a five. Your weaponry is a four. And you're gonna add uh, another one for your uh, for Tachi Sabaki. So you're gonna roll a five, eight, eighteen defense. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> That's exciting. You'll probably be okay. I hope. I hope. Goodness. Beat a five. He didn't check this very well. I'm sorry, it was a... 18. 18. Yep. Okay. Oh my good lord, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh fuck oh. you. Oh. <laughs> did it one? Yes. Yeah, of course oh. It did. oh, this is bad. The worst. All right, whatever. Oh my gosh. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Beat a five? Beat a one, five. One, two, three, five. Oh. Wow, really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Ty goes to Defender, so you, it, so you dodge the action. Right. It's, it's, oh, me? Oh, right. Defending. Okay, I'm defending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, we're defending. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. I'm so used to attacking. I'm like, not, yeah. I'm not used to being on the other end of things. Yep, um, it's a solid yeah. dodge. Uh, yeah. And so as you move into him, though you yeah, don't get technically your normal combat round, because you are using your katana, you can use Ukinagashi and take, it, uh, take a counterattack action. So, okay. uh, go ahead and roll your katana check, which is a 20. Whew. Damn. Damn. By the way, I'm just watching here stunned that someone's using a sword and is so <laughs> effective using a sword. <laughs> no one's ever talked. So let's see how effective she is by this check. Yeah, right. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he biffed his defense check. Oh. Like, like he rolls a pretty big defense because he's he's got a lot of like like he know, he sees her coming. He yeah. got he tripped on his shoelaces. That's a thirteen. Woo! That's, a, that's a basically so, the same roll. Kayla yeah, Torvis yeah. runs down this hallway. This guy shoots at her. As he shoots at her, she lowers herself down like a, to, to about three feet, reaches for her katana. Unsheaths it as she spins. She does a full 360 and then comes up across his chest, and it's like it's like uh, it's like the end of Saint Juro. Just blood, just <laughs> fucking out of this guy. He is down. Like she just does. It's like a it's like a fucking practice move, Ooh. and he's gone. Ooh. And she's just standing there as he collapses. I had a lot of time to practice this shit. <laughs> no one doesn't know what love is, but he thinks he might have just fallen. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, She's old enough to be your great, great, great grandmother. And the, uh, <laughs> a, um, another dude uh, okay, opens fire it. on Kayla Torvis. Uh, okay, now so suddenly, clearly, like, freaked out by this. Wait, another guy Wait, came? one dude, one dude, one dude. Oh, no shit. No, 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 that's, no, that's it. Dude. That's all the dudes. That's it. All, all the dudes, dudes are there. Oh, that. shit. Look at that. Not till we. Drawing pictures help. Man, one <laughs> round combat. Well Ooh, done, one guys. Kill the last guy though. Someone finish him off because he's a he's That's disabled. Tom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Tom, Tom. Tom punched him. And yeah, him. Tom. Tom takes him out. Uh, key card. Uh, key card. Uh, roll. Uh, roll perception, uh, Noble. Don't tell me twice. Um, can you, when we get to the, uh, oh, the yeah. door, can you perception? 11. Can you figure out how many yeah. are behind the door? Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I go ahead and perception oh, listen to see how many people are behind <laughs> the next door? Go and I've actually like bolstered out with my eye. Oh, yep, daddy. perception listen, and Kayla's gonna bolster Dude, that five. with a uh, seven, a, a, with with a five. That's five. just we're just gonna add the eye to her check. So just give her five uh, dice, basically, or you can roll five dice for her. Seven. Okay. Well, I just rolled. I just seven. rolled it. Seven. I rolled five more dice because he said. Roll oh, roll for oh oh got it. it it's a combined check, so you can do it however you like. What'd you get? Seven. You found it. Good. Ooh yay! All right, gang, get behind me. You find his key card. 
and you're walking up to the door. Meanwhile, Taka steps to the door and opens her listening glands. Puts her hand to the door and listens. Uh, nine. Uh, behind the door are eight dudes. Oh. There are eight guards. Some of them are more heavily armed than the ones in this hallway because this is the cairn once you're stepping into here. There are eight men. There are eight guards. What? Okay. Can I grab? Here's here's a question I have. Okay. Um, do you do you have the ability to make people see scary shit? Yeah, I'm right. I mean, I could probably make them see whatever I want them to see. Can I do as long all... as you're rolling up a high check? High yeah. check. Yeah. Can we do it with all eight? I mean, it's gonna be really hard. Yeah. You would need a really high check to do that. Could but he, like, and he couldn't do that. Can he can't like do that and keep them? No. Cloak and thing. No, no, no. We're, we're not, not doing one not thing or the other. Anymore. At this point, you're well, like, not. you did it again. But right. like, you're in a separate room. So yeah, yeah. It, you basically, can, he can control their minds and make them see a thing. Depends on how many minds he can control. Yeah. He has to roll. All right. I can from a tactical of, perspective, what do you think? What do you think is more effective? Try and like recloak and assassinate, or <laughs> I could only assassinate one person at a time. Time. Well, but I've guys, imagined. okay. So while you figure this out, meanwhile, up in the room there is a uh, a like uh, struggle going on with this oh. guy. Uh, roll your hand to hand one more time, please. That was six, right? Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, wow, uh, shit. Beat a two. Zero. Okay. So he, um, so he, like, pulls the radio away from you and throws it across the room, smashing it there. As he does that, uh, you hear all around you a raid siren. The place is clearly under attack. You look down at the surveillance and see the four of them standing in a room full of bodies, waiting at the door, trying to hear through it. Uh, a rescue mission is being attempted on you. Uh, are there cameras in this room? Uh, not that you can see. Okay. Uh, is this enemy guy still armed? Yeah. What's between me and them? A door, that hallway, another door to the elevator, then the elevator shaft. That's actually pretty good, too. And where did First Minister Voss go? Through a door that no longer seems to exist. Um, I've got to make a run for them somehow. Uh, I'm going to try to get past this guy and out the door. Okay. So, uh... That is a speed check. Roll for speed. My favorite check. Beat a three. Four. Wow, nice. You lunge for the door. He lunges after you, but you get there first. Reaching down to the body of the um, the guy who tried to help you, the Avalonian guard, you manage to actually hit the thing with the key card and the door opens. You run, but he is now chasing you. You are being you are running down this two-way mirror corridor. Uh, the, all these ships and people around you. You're just sprinting. Uh, roll one more speed check, please. This time beat a six. Four. He grabs your uh, your arm and spins you around, and you are now back in hand to hand combat with him. Roll hand to hand, or roll initiative, please. They're coming for you, Lucy. Oh, I still fucked the. Mm. Three. Okay. Uh, he hits you for four damage. Uh, like a I big. I haven't rolled a defense roll. Uh, oh, oh yes, I'm that sorry. Please roll. No, that was your initiative. I'm sorry. I, you. What did you get for your? your I mean, your I'm initiative? probably not gonna succeed. No, 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 no. Uh, that's that's fine. Initiative. Roll. No, roll a defense check. He'll roll hand to hand. I'm sorry. That was. Now it's is late my defense three distracted. or five? What was that? Is my defense three or five? Does combat awareness play into this? Oh gosh. Uh, hold on. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. I just. I have both numbers written down, and I don't know why. Really? I can just assume it's three. Really? Are you kidding me with this? It should be the lower of one of my stats, <laughs> right? It shouldn't be that. My defense is the low of my dex or wits. And 
my <laughs> dex is a two. So that's weird. Did I not? Would you have something else that plays into your defense? Well, that's uh, like it should be either three or. Uh, three it adds two to like. your defense roll. Yeah, but weirdly that would put it at four. Cool. I need then to it's keep four now. Better updated. Ugh. Uh, do crits count on this? Yes. All right. Two. What? Okay, hits you for three damage. <laughs> okay. Um, he punches you. You want to return? How much damage have I taken from the torture? You never actually no, specified. No, no okay, damage. Okay, great. Um, uh, Let's say we've checked your willpower down three for it. But you did really I, well I on all your results. I spent three willpower already. So, okay. Uh, so, yeah, you have one willpower left. Okay, great. Um, so I'm at five health, one willpower. Yeah. Uh, and I just need to get away from this dude. Um, so it's I'm running. With the squirrel. Oh, What's up? So I'm running. Okay, roll speed check. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, he biffed his speed check. <laughs> He said, and then he said. <laughs> and tripled. Okay. Too late. That's right. Do crits count on speed check? Yes. Well, me too. Crits count for everything but initiative. Yep. Correct. I was hopeful. What'd you get? Two. Well. Okay, what do you got? He got a one. Yes. Great. Yay. So, Oof. you uh, you bolt, Jordan. and you head, and you're heading for the elevator, and he's running right oh. the hell after you, back down on the ground. All what right. do you guys do? Okay. What you gotta do is right. uh, we. S I think we're gonna. We'll let hit yeah, I think we're, I'm going to try to um, control as many minds I can get my hands on. Let's see, we'll see where we, at, at that point, we'll see what's next, right? Yeah, we'll and figure out if we, we're gonna, when we're going to open the door, once yeah, we see how many he can get. I'll okay, Nidar, check yeah. for 21, please. All right. And just for all of our sake, I'm actually going to check for you a few times. Okay. So you'll set the threshold and then we'll pop above that. Eight. <laughs> Eight? Very Eight. Inappropriate. Okay, so you guys. <laughs> you, uh, of the eight guys in the room, you have control of six of them. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. And I can, can I make them just see what, nothing? Like, are we, can we, or, or do we? Yeah, if you want to just them? black them out. And I just want to black them out. So sure, yeah. Uh, so. Six of the dudes in the room open suddenly the like fall backwards and black out. Well, uh, well I need well, to hold on. Nova's gonna open the door and then. No. Sh hold on. Did you call it on this? You gotta prep your arm, right? Got it. <laughs> prep, prep action. As soon as I open this, it shoots. She shoots. Okay. Okay. Click, click. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm just aiming at the. Are, are they grouped together or? No, they're like scattered down the hallway. Is there a, but there's a, there's still two that are upright and... Yeah, those are the guys who are kind of in the back. Okay, I'm going to aim for one of them then. Okay, roll for it. Uh, actually, can I gunslinger this? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, first one with murder arm. <laughs> murder arm. <laughs> Good to me. Oh, yeah. Nine. Okay. Uh, you. Oh, no. No, no okay. 10, 11. Oh. You hit. Uh, you hit the guy. He uh, smashes up. This is with the gun arm? Yeah. Yeah, it's an 11, not a. Disintegrates. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I'm hitting the. I'm shooting the other one with the uh, Paka. Okay, go for it. Uh, oh, no. Two. Okay, you miss. I had five ones. You miss spectacularly. Oh. Now do Damn. we all have to roll initiative? Or like uh, depends. Are, 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 you, are you guys ch charging for the elevator? Well, there's one dude left. He needs to die. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, <laughs> who's uh, who wants to attack him? Me. I'm, okay, I'll, roll initiative. I'm going to do the same thing as last time and add the... Uh... Wait, what was that total again? Uh, well, technically, your, your weapon's unsheathed, oh, it's unsheathed now. Oh, it's unsheathed. Damn it. All right. So... 
Oh, It'll just be your standard Should initiative. Should we all roll initiative for this? Or? I, uh, no, uh, guys, okay. no. if it's a one-on-one -on -one combat, just let me play okay. out. We are, we're, we're actually at this point hitting a point where we might need to stop just for technical issues. Yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to get us done with this. Okay. Okay. So just roll my regular initiative. Yeah. All right. Uh, two. Uh, Reroll. He also rolled a two. <laughs> okay. One. Okay. He gets first attack. Uh, you are running down the place. Uh, now Katana out. Um, running down towards him. It's a long ass hallway, and all these other dudes who are like blacked out and screaming are like, you know, Keep like going. a coffin. He sort of fills the hallway as you run down. Uh, this guy has the uh, the mark on you. He's got a sure. big yeah. ass fucking chain gun. Yep. Roll your uh, defense, which is uh, eighteen. I think we defined. Yeah. Your defense is eighteen. Well, with Kanagashi. Oh, so, God. so uh, uh, you, you remember you remember in the home game uh, how Nick, uh, how uh, Zero can like essentially dodge an attack and dodge an attack. Oh, oh, oh wow. yeah. She can do the same thing. God, that's amazing. She specialized in the exact same. Uh, uh, system before I even knew it. And then I was looking and I was like, oh my god, you found the same exploit Nick did. Damn. Uh, so yeah, no, she's getting in a sword fight with Kayla Torvis. Like, she could probably take on like 10 dudes in a room alone. She's oh, like, oh, oh. she's got like Kill Bill style. Yeah, so not like, with a Bill. negative two. Woo! Whoa! Sam was blown her eyes. Sam was blown her eyes. That's just one time. <laughs> okay. Sun was in her eyes. Sun was in her eyes. All right. So, uh, you are hit for nine damage. All right. Good lord. Uh, oh, that would not be that basically like rips the tactical Kevlar apart. It's gone, but oh. it soaks three damage. Sure. Uh, then your skin soaks four damage mm. for seven. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it manages to even pierce your skin, uh, yeah. your Kevlar skin. Fuck. And well, uh, can I, I can soak that with willpower though, right? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna soak those two with two willpower. And you soak the willpower, or you soak with willpower. Yeah. Uh, so you uh, you take you literally take all of this chain gun damage to the chest as you run screaming down the hallway with your katana. You guys just watch this, and she takes a whole fucking clip right into her chest, and she do doesn't even slow her down. Yeah. Check. Is, is she okay? Falling Check what? In what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> if I. Can I only use the fighting style if I'm attacking in that specific way? Yes, right? Yeah, okay. and uh, and in this particular case, because you did your dodge action, the only thing you can do is counterattack. Okay, so just a regular katana check? Yep. Okay. I'm bolting for the elevator while this happens. Yeah, I think we all are. Okay, cool, y'all bolt. Yeah. That's fine. She's taking all your cover fire, so. Yeah. <laughs> not good at his defense. <laughs> uh, six. You hit. Uh, so you um, you spin around, uh, or you, you just come up on him and like get right up on him and just drive the sword right through oh. him like into the wall. Oh, uh, and he's gone. You pull out, he drops to his knees kind of amazed. Ow. And then <laughs> falls down <laughs> dead. I, can I assume that you guys killed the guys that were on the floor as you ran past? Because that <laughs> is necessary. That's my question. Did you? Um, is that? Yes. They're, they're, they're not, they're defenseless, right? So it's just like a stabby stab. All right, yeah. fine, just mowing through. I have, I, I could claw hand, just like. <laughs> yeah, you're just, yeah, so you guys kill a bunch of uh, dudes who Do have no defense. You just kill a bunch of defenseless men. And take men. their grenades. That's right. <laughs> okay. Damn straight we do. Um, these aren't grenades? these guys. These guys probably don't have grenades. Okay, no grenades. Uh, um, Good try. Good try. They're like so defensive. Fun. They're like defensive positioners. All right. Um, okay. Let's so, get, all right. Keep going. All right. So uh, and you get and you're up. To, you're up to the elevator. Your key card operates. Woo. Uh, the elevator opens. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the elevator opens, and inside you see Lucy Bard. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, we were just coming to get. No time for talk. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. get out of here. Yes. Is she, wait, is she, can she move? Can you, can she, she looks we, like hell. We have to stop them somehow. No, we have to get out of the here. The first is minister is a lunatic and he is planning a terrorist attack and no one is going to believe me. All we right. can't help anybody if we if we don't get out of here. So I, we're leaving first, all right? We need 
evidence. We need oh. something. Okay, we're leaving first. Stop. I'm not. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. What you got? We need evidence. We need something. Okay. What do you want? Evidence of what? It, can I pick her up? Can I? Can we talk about this while we're running and pick her up and fire fire care carry her? You can tell <laughs> us care. tell us about everything. Not here. <laughs> uh, where are you guys going? Uh, we were headed to get the ship. Right? So that's up the elevator. Oh, oh, then, then we, we gotta then go, we go, go in the elevator. elevator. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Down. Sorry. Yeah. Now's your time, buddy. Let's do this. And he gets in the elevator. And, and the doors close, and you guys start to head up. We you're in the elevator for like a minute. If you have, want to have a conversation, now's the time to do it. You're Tom, alone, you're, un, you're not in danger. Who can we tell? What can we do? They're planning an attack at the Gravity Ball Finals tomorrow. They'll blame it on me. They'll say it was Avalon. Thousands will die. First Minister Voss wants to be a dictator. I kind of hate this planet. Wait, you, <sighs> how do you know this? Did you see this? He just self said everything in the freaking control room. And you saw everything? Yes. No one will believe me. Nidar. Well, I mean, can we, can we, can I scan her memories? And yes, we... most likely we can. Once we get out of here, we will do everything we yeah, can to get that information to the Terran Republic. We can get it, we can leak it to the press. Promise me. I promise you. You have a Rample on your side. In fact, you've got two. two. We oh. should be able to make, we should really be able to make some noise. Let's get out of here. I agree. Um, you guys get up to the uh, uh, to the facility and open uh, open a secondary door. Does she door. need to be carried or can she run? No, she can run. Okay. Um, she, you open up a secondary door. That door opens to uh, to the that same area that you saw, um, where a guard is waiting at the door, yeah, like guard. fists up, ready to go. Gun no, I'm sorry, gun up, ready to go. <laughs> cool. Roll uh, initiative against him. Okay, he gets first action. Uh, he opens fire on Bard. Oh. oh. Uh, roll defense. There's nothing any of us can do, right? To help that? Uh, not right now. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to roll initiative, if any of you can beat a nine. A nine initiative? Yeah. yeah. He rolled incredibly high. All right. He only rolls 10 dice and he rolled yeah. a nine initiative. Let's do this. I'm trying One. to see if there's anything else I can do here. Uh... All right, get all the can we throw willpower in initiative? Yeah. yeah. All right. Initiative? Huh. We your, yeah, if you really want to get first check on an initiative, you can. I mean, you're probably not going to beat his number, so. I don't know. Mm -hmm. My initiative wasn't one. That was my I'm defense. Put three in my Much as I wish that that had been my initiative. Oh, you fair didn't enough. Tell me to roll initiative. Roll you initiative. Roll defense. No, 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 no. That's oh. fair. Roll initiative. Uh. Uh, so, okay. Roll defense, please. Do you want oh, me wait, to wait, Nidar? Uh, you re-roll defense. Ah. I got a seven in the shoe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse. Uh, negative one. Okay. Question, I mean, wouldn't she be in the positioning of the elevator? Did you roll initiative too? Yeah, I did, I got a six. Oh, okay. But like, if he's firing her, he's gotta shoot through us, right? Nah. Okay. Um. He's literally been waiting for you at the top of this bus. I foolishly <laughs> stumbled right out of the elevator. I'm the, not at my sharpest. The, the minute, oh. the minute he, he, he did oh, it's this. Oh, that guy. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, he fires. It hits you for uh, five damage, which maxes you out. I can spend. I can absorb one for willpower, leaving me at one health. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, true. All right, nice. Mm. He hits Bard uh, like in the shoulder, oh. and she slumps backwards. She's shot. All right, I didn't roll initiative, so I'll pick her up. Okay, um, so you you pick her up. And then Nidar. Has they're all. And then uh, Nidar has next action. All right, um, let's just shut down. Let's shut down this guy's brain. Okay. Let's do it. Like like death style or like. Like death style, if I can. Yeah. Okay, telepathy control for twenty one. Damn. I don't care you. If it doesn't work, I'll shoot. There we go. Thanks. I wish wow. I could heal. <laughs> Alas, I do damage. We need a merit sir. Mm -hmm. I don't want to that. We need a cleric. Oh. Fuck. Me too. 
Speed and nine. Five. Okay. Uh, you're blocked out of his mind. This guy has been, like, he's, he's prepared for this shit. He's pissed. He is not having it. It's okay. You both get to I'm going to gunslinger. Okay. Go for it. I'm um, going with the gun arm first. Just because it's more impressive when it hits people. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Beat a six. <laughs> Very cool. His mental defense is really high. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. getting shot. Yeah. You got him. Woo, was that with the gun arm? Yep. <laughs> you want him to explode? Yep. Yeah. He explodes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, if I can, I'd like to perception listen to see if there's anyone else in between us and the planes. Uh, there are, you, you don't need to perception listen. You can see. Oh. Um, because there's a, it's a transparent hallway. Uh, around you are a bunch of technicians. They've all been moved out. The room is empty. It is filled with ships. All right. Let's go. Tom, take a good one. Let's go. Let's go. And he moves to the wall, puts his hand on it. It recognizes him as a rample. It opens up the uh, the hallway into like a door that previously you didn't really see existed. He walks through it. You carry uh, her up to a, uh, there's like a experimental shuttlecraft there. It's a simple ship about the size that you would get, you guys would need. Uh, it doesn't have a crossing drive. So it's, it's only really good for like local space travel, but it can get you off the planet and maybe somewhere at least where you can uh, catch your wits about you. Uh, so you guys get into the shuttlecraft. Uh, he hot wires it. Noble, you sit at the uh, at, at the pilot the pilot seat. seat. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a piloting check. Please. Do you know the nearest planet? I mean, your best bet at this point is just to get to the moon. I'm sitting okay. moon. Do either of you have any medical? <laughs> to one of the moons. There's two moons, I have right? One. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There are two moon. moons. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, my listen would give me a juice for that. I don't think I have any medical. I don't care. You look good. You look good. Can I medicine check myself? <laughs> I'm kind of unconscious, I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, my, my academic boost would count for medical, wouldn't it? Uh, it would, yes. Okay, so then I can, I'd like try. to, can you do a medical, I don't know what my medical role would be. But yeah, I mean, considering ask. she's she's not, like, bleeding out, so. Oh, well, she had a one. I thought she was, like, in I mean, serious danger no, of no, death. No, no, she, she, so. she, she is in serious danger of death. Um, it's just you guys are kind of at the end of the thing. Oh, okay. If you, if, if, I, I don't, you don't need to roll for it. I'm okay. going to say you go to start doing medicine on her and help her. I'm just going to reach up and be like, thank you for coming and pass out. You got that helm check for me? 15. 15? Okay, uh, so you rev this thing up, engines fire, uh, the gateway behind you opens, the thing pods out. As it does, you see behind you, through the transparent aluminum, a blast. Uh, it disintegrates a bunch of the transparent aluminum and one of the ships next to you explodes. Uh, out of the wreckage of it, walks Victor Rampa. Oh. I'll get you! You won't get away with this! And the and your ship backs off and Fuck fire. you, asshole! <laughs> and you fire we'll get off. You, first. you fire off out of orbit, uh, or out of uh, uh, out of the city, the guns of the platform firing off, but you do fucking barrel rolls to get yourself out of there. Ooh. You are uh, you guys are pinned to your seats, but by the time you make it out, you make it out uh, with your captain in tow, you have escaped the Nexus. Congratulations. Oh. That ends this episode of Vast. Oh we will pick this High up. Five. High five. Oh. High five. High five. Thank you. You did it. Thank you, crew. You did it. Oh, you you saved Lucy ahead. Bard. Well Woo. done. You're welcome, Lucy Bard. Thank All right, come over to me for a second. All right, so uh, little announcement, um, and one that I uh, am uh, I, 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 I want to apologize to y'all who uh, are so uh, uh, into the season with me, and, and uh, uh, trust me that I don't want to do this either, but... It's got to happen. Um, I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation for 10 days. Uh, I leave on Saturday. I'll be in Hawaii. Uh, so presuming that nothing horrible happens in Hawaii, I will be back in uh, two weeks. Uh, wait, no, three weeks uh, for the next episode of Vast, which will be a Brightest Eye episode. So uh, next Monday, no Vast. First there might Monday be Monday in June, I think yeah. it means, yeah? There might be something cool. I just don't know what. Uh, the following Monday, no vest. There might be something cool, but I don't know what. Uh, and then the following Monday, I will be back and so will Vast. Uh, and we will continue this 
hell of a season uh, moving into new adventures and new challenges. Uh, we will be picking up the story of the Peacekeep in four weeks, so stick around and we'll be My back damn that back. in just a little bit. Oh, yeah. um, and, uh, and I guess that's it. So uh, I want to thank, uh, as always, Alpha for having us, uh, Geek and Sundry for producing us, Eddie Doty for producing us, Max for supporting us. Uh, all our whole uh, team and crew here, uh, we can't do it without them. They're all amazing. Uh, thanks to uh, Sirenscape for your amazing work. Uh, and with that said, four, can we get them on screen for a second? Amy Dallin, Amanda Powers, Jody Hauser, Ray Tarnatchet, and Dylan Duval. I am Jackson Lansing, and I will see you in the future. Thank you! Woo! Yay!